Home to any budget, home to any possibility. While supplies last, tree discount taken at time of purchase, filed through 1124, U.S. only. That's a no-whip, high-foam, 170-degree, sugar-free gingerbread latte. Ah, uh, yes. It's gingerbread latte season at Duchesne's Coffee Shop. Gingerbread on the side. He'll need a seasonal barista before his cookie starts to crumble. Anything else? Oh, there's a list. Indeed can help him hire great people fast. I need Indeed. Indeed you do. Instant Match instantly connects you with quality candidates whose resumes Indeed match your sponsor. Visit indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. To show you how easy it is to file a claim with GEICO, we hired a scary movie victim. Oh no, a tree fell on my car. And there's only one thing to do. Trip over my own feet and pull myself across the lawn while yelling help at a barely audible volume. <laughs> uh, sorry to interrupt, but you filed a claim with GEICO, so you've got a designated claims team to help you. Test one, GEICO two, one, two, three, four, five, Are you five, sure six, I don't end up getting seven, surprised eight, nine, with an ten, unexpected testing, twist? One, Just that your two, GEICO three, team will always four, be there to five. keep you up. Five, six, seven, oh, eight, nine, oh, ten. I just didn't see that coming. Geico, great service without all the drama. Holiday season, keep auto value in mind when shopping for holiday gifts. For big gifts and little stocking stuffers, shop first at your local auto value auto parts store. This month, ATD three-piece plier sets are just $28.95, and a 12-in-1 multi-tool is just $9.95, while the Wilmar Cobb work light is only $7.95 this month. For stocking stuffers galore, visit your conveniently located and locally owned auto value auto parts store, where service is the difference. We get it. Tourism Ireland and Notre Dame Athletics have teamed up to bring you the best of Ireland. Enter for the chance to win a trip to Ireland for two. The grand prize includes two round-trip economy airline tickets from the winner's nearest Ireland gateway in the USA. Six nights accommodation, including a night in the castle and a seven-day car rental. Discover all the stunning castles, dramatic coastlines, friendly locals, and charming cop. Visit you. Ireland and enter for the chance to win. Tourism Ireland official partner of Notre Dame Athletics. Welcome back to the Notre Dame football postgame show. Tony Simeone with you here in the studio as we recap this one. The Irish tonight win 55 to nothing over Georgia Tech, the most impressive victory of the season. They were relentless in this one. They were up 45 nothing at half, and they improved to 10 and 1 on the season. We're going to look around the college football scoreboard and get you caught up. Again, you know who cuts my check. I'm going to explain to you why Notre Dame is in a great position, I think, to make the flat. They certainly don't have further in that team goes to the way that they can obviously not make it. Maybe even a likely way they will not make it. But I am a firm believer that enough chaos is going to take place here. They are going to get it. Today, Michigan State, that was the first step they lost the last year. They lost the conversation. Ohio State won 56 to 7 over the Spartans, so they take their second loss. They are out of it. Next week, Ohio State is going to be on the road at Michigan. One of those teams is going to take a loss. So Notre Dame can rest assured that if they beat Stanford next week and go to 11 and 1, at the very worst, they're going to be six in those playoff rankings because Michigan or Ohio State can take their second loss. Michigan right now is still playing. They are up 59 to 18 over Maryland. What I think people are not focusing up on is that the winner of that game next week is going to play in the Big Ten Championship game against Wisconsin. Wisconsin currently is, is in a tie right now with Nebraska, so maybe not looking as impressive as they have, but they've been playing very well as of late. If Wisconsin gets into that Big Ten Championship, and quite frankly, just considering even though Michigan looks good tonight, you prefer they play Michigan just with the history of Ohio State being so good recently and Michigan maybe not as good. Wisconsin, I think, could still pull that up in the Big Ten. So I think there's a world in which Michigan and, and NBC put this on their broadcast today. Michigan, Michigan State, and Ohio State could all have two losses, but it's very likely that at the least two of them will have multiple losses. So Notre Dame is at least going to get to six if they beat Stanford next week. Right now, if you are keeping track, Alabama's not out of the woods yet. They lead 34 to 28 against Arkansas. Razorbacks have the ball at their own one yard line right now, but they got it back after they scored on a fake field goal. I mean, they rolled the dice, fake field goal down 13 and scored from about 40 yards out to get this back to a one score game. They now have the ball in their own territory with eight minutes and 45 seconds left. If Arkansas could pull the shocker, then all bets are off. Notre Dame's got a clear path in if they can finish it off next week. The other key, and you heard Ryan Harris, Ryan and Harris mention it, the two teams they need to fall as well are if really like. They might not need them, especially if this goes the right way tonight in Alabama. Cincinnati's up 48-0 over SMU right now. Finally, Cincinnati put together a statement win the way that Notre Dame 
game did tonight, 48 to nothing over SMU. But Houston is waiting for them in that conference championship game. And don't sleep on Houston. They are 10 and 1. They won last night, 31 to 13 over Memphis. So Houston could get it done. And then the other key is Utah is hosting Oregon tonight. If you have nothing to do, watch that game between Utah and Oregon. Utah is
Just say fall calendar into your voice remote. Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Back here to wrap this one up on the Notre Dame football postgame show. Tony Simeone with you in the studio after the Irish win tonight. 55 to nothing over Georgia Tech. A dominant performance by the Irish all the way around. They moved to 10 and 1 on the season. And as we mentioned during the last segment, they were 57. We Arkansas just punted. Alabama has the ball with about seven minutes left around midfield. So a couple of first downs for a field goal might put that one away, but we'll keep our fingers crossed. And again, a reminder, Utah and Oregon tonight. That's a big one. If Utah can get it done, that'll be a good thing. A couple of thank yous to hand out, as always, by hanging our engineers here in South Bend. Great job on the board now. Cooper, our board producer and operator. Just down Bell, who you heard Paul and Ryan point out during the broadcast, did a great job handling senior day in the booth at Notre Dame Stadium. And Paul Burmeister and Ryan Harris have always delivered a great call, exciting call, specifically on that mile inside of our lower on those decks. Uh, a touchdown that was a real highlight of senior day. Notre Dame gets the win. They improve to 10-1 on the season. Next week, November 27th, Iowa State Stanford. That quick time has not yet been set, but it's here at 3.30 Eastern or 8 o'clock Eastern. The way to get that. Either way, we'll be with you an hour before that game kicks off here on the post game. I am here, if you're wondering. I do hear you. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> All good. In and out. For the college football playoff. Until then, Tony Simeone saying so long from South Bend. Thank you for listening to Fighting Irish Football on the Notre Dame Radio Network. Fighting Irish Football has been sponsored by Notre Dame Partners, Jeffrey Solutions America, Coca-Cola, Cooper Tire, Florida Meyer, Underwood, and Visit South Bend. Fighting Irish Football is an exclusive presentation of the Notre Dame Radio Network. Ladies and gentlemen, to welcome to the Vision's Veteran Memorial Sports 1430, Binghamton Sports Station. Plus, you would have an 18-game schedule spread over 20 weeks. That would be two buys, right? Yes. Uh, the, the, my, the money's my buy. Can you imagine just from a gambling standpoint? How, by that time, every all 50 states will have full-blown so. uh, gambling establishments I, going. I, I, how, how much money would we be talking about with uh, 20 games a week? I, I live in North Carolina, but yeah. I, I don't know if we're going to have gambling anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> Not in this state. Uh, well, I mean, it's, it's open. Anyway, he threw that out, and I just was like, you're blowing my mind. I'm it's like, possible. Anything's possible with the NFL. We know that. All right, on the other side, Jeff's going to give us his best picks remaining today including that Oregon-Utah game and what are his best NFL Sunday bets we're going to find out coming up next. Twitter at Fox Sports Radio. Yes! When it goes down on the field. Let's go! College or pros. Yeah! You want to react. Fire off that tweet. Just add us. Twitter at Fox Sports Radio. We're your social media home when it comes to football. Twitter at Fox Sports Radio. Welcome to a place where everyone deserves to be better protected. Where technology has your back. Where you can have better protection and keep more money in your pocket. Where you can have protection for your car, your home, your phone, and even your digital identity. Welcome to a place where your entire life can be better protected. You're in good hands with Allstate. Allstate and affiliates offer products and services subject to availability, terms, and conditions. As an organ donor, your story doesn't have to end. The good in you can live on. In fact, you could save up to eight lives and restore sight and health for many more. Sign up right now online as an organ, eye, and tissue donor. You'll be happy you did. And just maybe, someone else will be happy too. Go to organdonor.gov. It saves lives. U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Health Resources and Services Administration. The following is a sports presentation of the Binghamton Black Bears. Here we go, I guess. When the Federal Prospect Works for me. League on Fox Sports 1430, Binghamton. He's in. He scores! 
Binghamton Black Bears hockey is on the air. Ooh, big hit down low. And now we are going to get our first fight. Clubs are off. The center ice. It's time for the End Well Rug pregame show. Left side shot and a save made. End Well Rug, the best floor show in town. Here's another one. They score. Let's send you to the Planet Fitness broadcast booth for the End Well Rug pregame show. Here's the voice of the Black Bear. Rob Lapolis. Good evening and welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena in downtown Binghamton, New York, where tonight the rematch as the Port Huron Prowlers look to get some revenge after suffering an 8-1 loss last night to the hands of the Binghamton Black Bears. I'm Rob Lopolis. Thank you so much for joining us here on a Saturday night. You're listening to the Endwell Rug pregame show. Endwell Rug, the best floor show in town. Give them a call at 607 Seven four eight seventy three sixty six. Well, going back to last night, uh, a wild one. Uh, here inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Things got a bit physical towards the end of the game, but uh, Binghamton getting off to a hot start in the opening frame as they would lead five to nothing after one period of play. And then adding on more towards the end here at the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Five in the first, two in the second for Binghamton, and then one in the third. Uh, Port Huron did break up the shutout bid as Mo Levac from Caleb Williams and Austin Federley. That was just 22 seconds into the third period, but then Kyle Stevens, who had a couple on the night, he would tack one on 545 into the third period. Power play goal, and Binghamton cashing in twice on the power Power play as Nikita Ivechkin, the hat trick in the opening period of play. The Black Bears out shooting Port Huron 56 to 33. We'll get to the highlights a little bit later on, but first I caught up with Black Bears head coach Rod Davidson. Coach, let's go right back to last night. You lose three guys leading up to last night's game, but you had guys step up, and, and I thought the team played great. You know, they really did. Uh, they were as sharp as I've seen this season. They really moved the puck. Um, they got some success early. Get the lead, it's a different game. Also defensively, I notice a lot of times when we have talked, you stressed giving up those odd man rushes, and I thought they were really limited last night. They really kept the high guy in the offensive zone. We went with a 2-1, 2-4 check, and uh, they supported very well. Uh, gave the, the defense a lot of support and really uh, put a lot of back pressure coming back into our zone and forced a lot of turnovers and it looked like our speed was the key. Nikita Ivishkin, uh, hat trick in the first period. I haven't seen that happen a lot. No, and uh, he's, he's a stud. Boy, he shows up, he goes to the net hard and uh, he's a good sized body. You know, he's a pretty big guy and he's hard to take down. Defensively, you were able to plug some holes. MJ Merkel thought he had a, a good game coming out of out of nowhere, and he had three or four just punishing hits. Outstanding, wasn't that a, a great, pleasant surprise? It was really fantastic. Uh, he fit in quite nicely. And then in net, uh, Drew Shepard and I had talked about, it, it almost seemed like he quietly played a great game when the team scores eight goals, but he made 32 saves as well. He made some key saves as well. And uh, Joe's been sharp. He, I'm glad that he bounced back from that uh, little health issue last week. But he was real fine last night. And uh, consequently, he's back in there tonight. <laughs> Sam Halesi, uh, he was snake bitten there a couple of times early in the game, but he didn't let it get to him. And then it also was good to see uh, Kyle Stevens, who was away with family for some time. Good to see him back and contributing. And he got a couple of nice goals. So that's uh, they're rewarded for their hard work, and uh, it brings team success. Anything uh, you want to see differently here tonight? I know that might be a hard question uh, when you win 8-1. Just want to see them work hard, uh, keep up their speed, be responsible defensively like they were, and uh, 
it's important to win at home. I always stress that, so we need this victory tonight. And last night, a, another big crowd, a very energetic crowd just for the first three games of the season here. And they've been a big support. Uh, these players respond to that quite nicely, and I can't thank the fans enough. Not only are they showing up, but the, the energy that they create in the building, they're fantastic. All right, Coach, thanks. Good luck here tonight. Thank you, Rob. All righty. That is Black Bears head coach Rod Davidson. We'll take a break on the Endwell Rug pregame show. Back with more as we get you set for some Saturday night hockey right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey, Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. The Homer Men and Boys Store, a family-owned business providing clothing and footwear for the entire family since 1951. Located just 40 minutes north on Route 81 in the beautiful village of Homer. The Homer Men and Boys Store carries a huge inventory of name-brand products at discounted prices like Carhartt, Red Wing, Carolina, Levi's, Columbia, North Face, Timberland, and many more. We carry all sizes from size 3 months up to 5X. We treat our customers like members of our family. If we don't have it, you don't need it. The Homer Men and Boys Store, located 40 miles north on Route 81. Take exit 12 and follow the signs to Homer or see us on the web at homermensandboys.com. Get moving today with the Planet Fitness Black Card and check out all the perks. Like access to over 2,000 locations. Bring a guest anytime. Plus massage chairs and so much more. With tons of space in our super clean clubs. Your fitness is essential. Get all the perks with the PF Black Card. Commitment may apply. See club for details. Now back to more of the End Well Rug pregame show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena in Binghamton, New York on the End Well Rug pregame show. As the crowd filing in here on a Saturday night. Hope to see everyone back out here on Wednesday. The big Thanksgiving Eve game as Danbury comes to town and uh, a fun one there. We're going to be giving away some turkey. So if you're like me and don't have one yet, uh, you put all your money into coming to that game and, and scoring yourself a free turkey. Uh, but then you'll have to speed up the freezing or the, uh, I guess, the thawing process. You'll, uh, you'll have less than uh, 24 hours to get that thing uh, all cooked up. Anyway, it'll be a fun one. Hope to see everyone out here. I know Thanksgiving Eve is uh, a big night uh, for the folks uh, in downtown Binghamton. And we hope you can get it started with us coming up on Wednesday. Again, that is Dan Barry coming to town. Well, let's take you back. We kind of broke down last night's game, but now we'll have highlights presented by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. And Nikita Ivishkin, after the Black Bears ran into what seemed like it was going to be a hot goaltender, made some huge saves early on uh, in that game. And it was Greg Harney who got the start. He was robbing the Black Bears early on, especially during the first shift. But then Nikita Ivishkin, uh, we said his name a lot last night. And uh, we hope a lot more here throughout this season. He would give the Black Bears a 1-0 lead, move the puck in below the goal line, came right back out to the top of the crease, slid it 5-hole, 1-0 at that point, and then a great passing play right here. And Nikita Ivichkin back-to-back goals to give Binghamton a 2-0 lead. 9.57 to go in the first. An interception. The trailer is Stevens. Drops it. Scores! So 2 nothing at that point, and then Kyle Stevens, as you heard us talk about, uh, had to spend some time away to be with family. He was back in the lineup. Slow shot off the outside of the post. Backhanded, back to D'Angelo! Puck free scores! Kyle Stevens, he's back! And the Black Bears lead 3-0. So three nothing, and they wouldn't stop there. Greg Harney to go to his right, and then he slid the puck back to his left. Here's Yates again. Scores! Off the bar and in. Four to nothing. A 
lost it, got it back. Ivishkin heads up as he was stepped up on by Roseboom. Here's a chance for Becker. Scores! <laughs> scores the hat trick he's taken down from behind players get together so that was the hat trick for Nikita Ivichkin, 5 nothing. Uh, the Black Bears would keep adding goals after that and your final score last night 8 to 1 highlights presented by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club Join the Booster Club. Visit them behind Section 4 at the next Black Bears home game. Well, we'll take another time out on the Enwell Rug pregame show. When we come back, we'll have your scratches and injury update along with the starting lineup. Sonnet Town scores tonight, and we'll drop the puck. So stay with us. Back with more right after this on your home for Black Bears Hockey, Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. The Ross Park Zoo sits tucked into the northern face of Binghamton's South Mountain. The zoo officially opened in 1875 and is the fifth oldest zoo in the country. Come view over 100 different species. Are you planning your next event? Train rides, the children's zoo, Ross Park Carousel, Snack Shack, Gift Shop, and Special Education Stations are just some of the reasons why Ross Park Zoo should be your next event. You can even set up wild encounters. Give Ross Park Zoo a call at 607-724-5461 or online at Ross Park Zoo. Join thousands of Binghamton hockey fans and give us a follow on social media. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash BlackBearsFPHL. And give us a follow on Twitter and Instagram at BlackBearsFPHL. Get up to the second team news information, participate in contests, and get live game updates at home or on the road. Get interactive and say hello. Hit that follow button and give the new team some love. That's at BlackBearsFPHL on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now back to more of the End Well Rug pregame show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Rob Lapolis with you as we continue to get you set for tonight's game, the rematch between the Port Huron Prowlers and the Binghamton Black Bears. Time to take a look at the scratches and injury update brought to you by the Court Gesture Athletic Club. And for the Port Huron Prowlers out of the lineup is Joe Pace Jr. Defense been played just four games here so far this season. Dalton Jay out of the lineup, 13 points in just six games. Dayton Murray also out as well. And for Binghamton, Colin Fitzgerald is out of the lineup, but getting a little bit closer to returning. Will Darling is out. Ben Huffler is out as well. So Fitzgerald, the uh, the injury lower body, but uh, he is inching closer to getting back into the lineup. So for Binghamton, the scratches, Fitzgerald, Darling, Hoffler, and for Port Huron, Joe Pace Jr., Dalton J., and Dayton Murray. That is a look at your scratches and injury update presented by the Court Jester Athletic Club Binghamton's premier fitness facility. Let's take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard tonight, presented by John Paul in State Farm. And they are just about set to get underway in period two. It was a 6.05 p.m. start down at the Winston-Salem Winston Fairgrounds Annex, and it's Carolina zero and Columbus zero. And we'll send it down uh, for the starting lineups in just a little bit. But again, uh, they're about to start the second period down in Winston-Salem. Carolina Thunderbirds 0, Columbus River Dragons 0. And the rematch tonight in Danbury as the Hat Tricks are hosting the Watertown Wolves. That is a 7 o'clock face-off at Danbury Arena. Uh, the Black Bears will see those two teams uh, quite a bit here this season. That is a look at everything in the FPHL, turning it over to the National Hockey League. The Carolina Hurricanes on the road. Uh, they defeated the LA Kings earlier. 
Five to four was your final score. The Devils uh, defeating the Lightning five to three. Florida Panthers a one nothing lead right now over the Minnesota Wild. That is after one period of play. Coming up tonight, the Pittsburgh Penguins take on the Toronto Maple Leafs, the Montreal Canadiens, and the Nashville Predators. Flames at the Islanders. The Bruins visit the Flyers. Coyotes hosting the Red Wings. The Blues are in Dallas to battle the Stars. Columbus and the Vegas Golden Knights at 10 o'clock. Also at 10, the Oilers hosting the Blackhawks. And the Capitals uh, visit the Sharks. And then postponed, obviously, uh, due to COVID, the Senators and the Rangers. Again, that is a look at the out-of-town scoreboard presented by John Paul and State Farm. Visit them online at paulandinsurance.com or call 607-798-7191. That's going to do it for tonight's edition of the Endwell Rug pregame show. Endwell Rug, the best floor show in town. Give them a call at 607 74 7366. When we come back, we'll have tonight's EBE CMS Imaging Solutions opening face off. Black Bears and Prowlers, the rematch. Puck drop coming up next on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Tonight's game on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton is brought to you in part by John Paulin State Farm and Well Rug, Excite Motorsports. Big E Tire, Homer Men and Boy Store, Port Jester Athletic rise Club, and remove your hat. And tonight we honor Ross our country Park with God Ideal Bless America. Center, performed tonight EBE, by CMS, Oxford Primary. Solutions, Visions Federal Credit Union, The Learning Ladder, and La Quinta Inn and Suites. Now. It's time to drop the puck. This is Binghamton Black Bears Hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. iHeartRadio and BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Get ready for the goals. Sight, slap shot, save me! Another save! Saves and hard-hitting action all season long. It's time for the EBE CMS Imaging Solutions opening face-off. Rebound score! We go to race the call of the action from the Planet Fitness Broadcast Booth. Rob Lapovitz. as they will be escorted off the ice. Kids always want to stay out on the ice. Waving uh, up to the parents. And, and we'll have the anthem. And now it's time for our Star Spangled Banner as they make their way out to the ice. Please, it's the main Endwell High School.
We are set to go here on a Saturday night in downtown Binghamton. It'll be the Black Bears in the green jerseys tonight going right to left uh, on your radio dial. And if you're watching on YouTube Live as well, and the it'll be the Port Huron Prowlers in the white jerseys going left to right. On your radio dial. Let's get to tonight's Visions Federal Credit Union starting lineup for the Binghamton Black Bears. And on defense, pretty much everything staying the same for these two sides uh, here tonight. And for Binghamton on defense, MJ Merkel, Kyle Powell. And then up front is Gavin Yates, Tyler Jurich, and Jens Peterson. And then between the pipes is Joe Shepard. For Port Huron on defense, it's going to be Rose Boom with Henning, the captain, up front. Zachary Fressera. Along with Cade Lambden and Isaiah Crawford. That is a look at your starting lineup presented by Visions Federal Credit Union. Are you a member? Then you get discount Black Bears tickets. Head online to visionsfcu.org slash events. Hope everyone's having a fantastic weekend. Bit chilly out there, but the Black Bears going for two in a row here tonight. Again, Bingham Chit in the green jerseys going right to left. Port Huron, white jerseys going left to right. The puck is down, and we are underway. Six seconds in. Going down was MJ Merkel behind the net. The centering attempt is blocked in front of the cage. And then it's chipped up and out to center. Merkel back defensively inside his own right wing circle. He goes cross ice. And Powell out to center. Puck is knocked right back inside the zone, though. And Gavin Yates will give it a try. He lost it. Snapshot. And that misses high. First chance of the game to Port Huron. And Binghamton they can't take this team lightly. We've had some nice wins here this season, and just because you win 8-1 uh, the night before doesn't mean that uh, tonight is stat night. So we'll have to bring their A game. Lead pass all the way down. This will get by Tyler Jurich. Picked up on the right wing boards by Gavin Yates. Yates lifts the puck in down low, intercepted by Jurich. Jurich below the goal line, right out front, and Gavin Yates was there, but unable to put it home. Right at center, Igor Nosov, and he bounced one in on Curry. Nope, gonna hang on to that one. That's a short hopper, and those are scary. It's even shorter for watch. When those come in and start hopping, those pucks can go either way. He made a nice stop and just held on. 18.33 left to go in the first period. Tonight's opening face-off was presented by EBE CMS Imaging Solutions, the official printer provider of the Binghamton Black Bears. No sub stepped up, and here come the Prowlers, two on one, trying to get back good stick lift. That was a great stick lift on Bobby Sokol. Shot, and that's high. Nikita Oshkin. The puck goes off the glass, and it's in. And they're going to talk about it. The horn did not go off. The red light is on. Okay, we'll get a 
replay here. So in over the glass, or over the crossbar. I don't know how, well, I, it looked like the goalie reached back. We'll see if we can get another replay of that. But there is no replay. So whatever they show on the video board, the decision's been made already. Possible unfortunate bounce. 17.47 left to go in the first period. On the breakout. Puck is wide of the net. Gino D'Angelo trying to get there first. Powell intercepts. Now from the right point, Powell through the legs of D'Angelo. Eric Oganezov a shot. And Simon stopped that. Powell pushed out of the zone. And Oganezov will settle the puck backwards. And skating all the way back is Corey Sherman. Sherman leaves the puck. He'll come to the bench. Tyler Jurich is on for him. Jens Peterson onside. Peterson a low shot and a right leg pad save is made. So the goal waved off. I was trying to catch the replay. And it looked like the goalie, Corey Simons, reached back. And his glove might have been uh, over the line, but still early. 16.43 left to go in period one. Big hit on the far side. Played off the wall all the way down. Scooped up before it went any further by Joseph Keenan. Knocked out of the air by Powell. Shot is blocked by Becker wide of the net. Becker up to Jurich. Boy, wild collision along the wall. And it's getting a little extra. How do you do was Jens Peterson. Gavin Yates over to Jurich. Jurich, right wing circle. Holds saucer and a good defensive play by Cade Lambden getting back. Crunched is Yates. Jurich tried to center. He is down on his legs. Jurich along the near side wall. Stepping up was Gavin Yates and Jens Peterson back for MJ Merkel. Merkel will get to center. He winds and blasts one over the crossbar. Nikita Ivechkin back for Josh Newberg. Ahead for Gavin Yates, taken out of the stick of Matt Graham. And Graham ahead for Sokol. Sokol pushed out of the ice, and they go flying into the boards. That was Merkel and Sokol. Now there's Stan Sokol on the Black Bears. Turn This one counts, and Binghamton has a 1-0 lead. Four minutes and 35 seconds into the game. So, up, backhanded behind the net. Sent just wide. Holesi. Time of the goal, 435. I'm Ashkin from Holesi. And time of the goal is 435. So Holesi with the interception down low. He was able to immediately feed Ivechkin. And the Black Bears have a one-nothing lead. Ivishkin, right wing side, dodges a check, gets the puck out to the point, shot, and it just goes wide. Everyone was looking to the near side, and the puck squirted to the left of the net. Nice little move inside the defensive zone. Mo Levac starts the breakout. Levac through center ice had his pocket picked by Larry Yellowknee, and Yellowknee over the center ice line. 
Plays the puck into the right wing corner, losing an edge down low below the goal line was Nick Manzo, awkwardly going to the ice, but gets right back up. Manzo finds Alex Johnson. Johnson on the backhand. Plays the puck in deep behind the net. Caleb Williams just outside the trapezoid. 13.57, left to go, period one. one nothing Binghamton. To Gino D'Angelo through center. D'Angelo. Getting to the puck first, though, was Austin Federley. MJ Merkel from the right wing circle over to Gino D'Angelo. 13 minutes, 36 seconds left to go in period one. We're live in Binghamton, one nothing lead for the Black Bears. Johnson behind the net for Port Huron. Skates through the left wing circle, moves out to center ice, and offside is called. And now Merkel with the hit, and here we go. They got a big pile up behind the net. Now the hit was along the wall right as the whistle was blowing. And Merkel skating away from the pile below the goal line. As his helmet has come off as well, trying to see the number. It might be 25, Alex Johnson. And it is Johnson who was hit along the boards, went down, and uh, he is now sitting up. We are going to take our first break of the game, and we'll keep you updated on Johnson. 13.32 to go in the first. It's one nothing Binghamton on your home for Black Bears Hockey. Fox Sports, 14.30, Binghamton. Trivium Packaging, a global leader in sustainable metal packaging with more than 60 locations worldwide, has immediate openings at its top in New York facility. Trivium serves a diverse range of customers and is an essential part of the U.S. food supply chain. Trivium Packaging offers excellent compensation and benefits like these. Apply anytime at TriviumPackaging.com slash careers or scan the QR code on the screen. Trivium Packaging currently has openings for QR and bar technician, mechanical technician, quality technician, and shipping and receiving technician. Polis back with you live inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. And it'll be a Trivium Packaging penalty kill. Black Bears penalty kills all game brought to you by Trivium Packaging. They are hiring. Apply online at TriviumPackaging.com. Uh, getting a replay here. And the hit was right as though the whistle was blowing. But I believe they're going to get interference, possibly. That was a little bit after uh, the puck was dished. Two-minute penalty. Case number 40, MJ Miracle. Two minutes for roughing. Time of the penalty, 6:38. So roughing the penalty. Henning is back, the captain. Where's number 84 for Port Huron? Waits in behind the net. Shots are seven to nothing. Binghamton. Federley down the right boards. Federley waits, holds, top of the right wing circle. Still waiting. Now to Levac. Levac inside the right wing circle. Good poke check by Joe Shepard. The pass was out intended for Dustin Henning, but Shepard got the stick in the way on the centering feed. And the Blackbirds were able to move the puck out to center ice. Long pass. Kyle Stevens with the opportunity, but out of the reach of Sherman. Federley, left wing side, gets the puck back. Looking back door, but a good play. Tyler Becker got the stick in the way on the back door chance. 12-13 left to go in the first. Still a 1-0 lead for Binghamton. They thought they had scored earlier as Iveskin's shot went over the crossbar, off the glass, and then looked like it went off the goalie and in. But waved off. Again, tough call to make. It's something that you don't see every day, and there's no replay. The linesmen and the officials have to make that call, and not an easy one to make. But Binghamton scoring right after that for real. 
And it's 1 0. 17 seconds to go in the trivia packaging penalty kill. Newberg diving, trying to get the puck out of the zone. Wrist shot and a right leg pad save made by Shepard. Seven to go in the Trivium packaging penalty kill. Puck squirts free. Little two on one down low. Shot on the short side. Held on to by Shepard and the penalty is ended. And it's back to even strength. So 11 minutes and 20 seconds left to go in the first period. Still a one nothing lead for Binghamton. Shots are seven to two. Wednesday night, the night before Thanksgiving against Danbury. Puck drops at 7. We'll have live music on the concourse at the UHS soundstage. Happy hour specials until puck drop and you could leave with a frozen turkey. We hope to see you there. Binghamton and Danbury coming up on Wednesday night at 7. Shot towards the net. Puck goes into the corner up the right wing side. Swung back in down low. 11 minutes to go in the first. 1 0 lead. Tyler Jurich on the backhand towards the front of the net. Mishandled and gathered quickly onto the stick of Mo Levac. Levac turns it over to Igor Nosov. Nosov, soft pass onto the backhand. Gavin Yates. Yates to the left. Yates to the right. In. Tries to knock the puck out of the air and pushed into the corner. 10.35 to go in the first. A long range shot from the right point is held on to by Corey Simons. And a whistle with 10 minutes and 34 seconds remaining in period number one. Again, we hope to see you out here uh, Wednesday night at 7. Get your tickets now at BinghamtonBlackBears.com and get your Thanksgiving Eve started right here at the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Ten and a half to go in the first period. A 1-0 lead. Big hit in front of the bench. Newberg. Oh, and now Powell is upended at center. Newberg. Powell gets up. Bodies flying everywhere. And Powell will get up slowly. It'll be at a big E tire power play now. A tripping penalty to the captain, Dustin Henning, and he will go off. Newberg thought about retaliating, but said they would like to get that power play instead, and that's exactly what will happen. Power plays all game long, presented by Big E Tire. Nobody beats their prices. Nobody. Left wing circle. It's Jurich on the left side. Peterson will center. Stevens on the right. Up top, Gavin Yates and Powell. So face off offensive zone. Left wing dot. 10 10 left to go. First period. And the puck went out of play, but. It was tipped, so no. Delay a game. Three seconds uh, ticked off the clock after the puck was dropped. We'll try it again. It's Jens Peterson. Loses the faceoff, pull back to Federley. And Port Huron's penalty kill able to send the puck all the way down. Scooped up by Powell behind the net of Black Bears goaltender Joe Shepard. Leaves it. For Gavin Yates. Yates, oh boy, big collision. Peterson and offside after all of that. Incidental contact, but that was a heck of a collision. And we will take a break. Nine minutes, 50 seconds left to go in the first period. Binghamton won, Port Huron nothing. This is Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports. 1430 Binghamton. Get access to exclusive player events, monthly parties, and road trips to away Black Bears games. This is what you get when you become a member of the Binghamton Black Bears Booster Club. Oh, it's 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 the Booster Club table so behind cool. Section 4 at the next that Black Bears home game. So Pick up a 50-50 uh, ticket and, and, and sign up to join for just $10. Stay up to date on the Booster Club by liking their Facebook page, facebook.com slash Binghamton Black Bears Booster Club. Monthly meetings with players, road trips, and a whole lot of fun when you join the Black Bears Booster Club. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. I 
Ideal Bowling Center is where Binghamton hockey fans bowl with open bowling all week long, along with money-saving specials. Ideal is a great place for family, friends, company parties, and special occasions. Ideal Bowling Center, 119 Jennings Street, Endicott. There's so much more than just your favorite bowling alley. And I will say, fantastic Velcro shoes, bowling shoes. You know, the it saves time. It's fashionable and I love the velcro bowling shoes Bowled the uh, best round ever 186 I was on fire three straight strikes to start the game immediately said I was going to shoot 300 and then fired a gutter right after that 927 left in the first and it's one nothing Binghamton a minute nine to go before Henning comes out of the box after the tripping minor. Gavin Yates down the left wing side. Yates lost the puck, went right up in the air. And Binghamton unable to get over to Mo Levac, who backhands the puck down. Stopped by Shepard. Up to Powell on the left wing side. Powell to Jurich. Jurich into the skates of... That Stevens and then Stevens looks for Jurich. The puck gets by him and cleared down once again. So a good penalty kill for the Prowlers trailing Binghamton 1 0. Eight minutes and 37 seconds to go in the first. It's Igor Nosov down the left wing side. Nosov in behind the net. 17 seconds to go in the Biggie Tire power play. Shots are 9 2 Binghamton. Outlet to center ice, and it's Stavros Soilis. Icing will be called on the Black Bears. The long outlet pass by Igor Nosov was intended for Stevens, who was changing. Eight minutes, 11 seconds. And a one nothing lead. Face off in the defensive zone right wing circle. On the draw, it'll be Josh Newberg. To the left is Ivechkin with Stevens and Halesi. No saw behind the net. Puck got behind him. Big collision in front of the net as pushed down to the ice was Cade Lambden. Lambden took some huge hits last night, but boy, he stayed in it. Took a big collision right there as well. Knocked down by Newberg ahead for Sam Halesi. Halesi had the puck go off his stick, and Becker had to wait until the change was complete before he could touch the puck. Good dish. Halesi, bottom of the right circle. Backhander and a blocker pad save made by Corey Simons. Backhand through everyone. And onto the stick of number 16. That's Isaiah Crawford. Crawford to the right side. Zachary Fressera, his wrister deflects wide of the net. And the puck comes up. It's behind Halesi and deflected at center. Icing waved off as Ivechkin touched it. Alex Johnson arrived first for the Prowlers. In front of the bench, Williams. Rister! Where is it? It's behind Shepard. Now I can see it's underneath him, and he lays on the puck in the crease, and he'll get the whistle with 6.59 left to go in period number one. The face-off in the defensive zone coming up. I was stopped on the concourse, handed a nicely printed piece of paper courtesy of the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. They have a couple of road trips coming up and you can jump on the bus if you'd like. I'm sure they have a, a nice bus. We'll get them there. They'll go to Danbury on January 15th and then Watertown on February 20th. And we'll get back to that in just a second. Six minutes, 33 seconds to go in the first period. A 1-0 lead for Binghamton. 
The goal by Nikita Ivish get early on. That was after the goal was waved off. Now the puck loose side of the net. Six minutes, 17 seconds to go. In the opening frame, Rob Lapolis, we're live inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. The second of three straight here at home. A little turnover behind the net. Eric Oganazov. Mikhail Shalafu pinned up against the player entrance to the right of the Black Bears net. Gino D'Angelo up the right wall. Moves the puck to the safety of the neutral zone. 5.45 to go in the first. Now inside the defensive zone, left wing circle. Soilis takes a long pass. Finds the trailer and a rocket over the crossbar by Graham. The puck deflects in front of the net, goes over the crossbar. Dished right back out front. Comes up to the right point. Shot goes off the skates of Nosov and into the corner. To the left of the net, Shepard in the crease trying to dodge around the defense and find the puck and finally pounces on it in front of the net as ends Peterson locked up. Becker is there. Everyone grabs a hold as the puck will roll into the corner. Someone looked at Maybe they stepped on the net. Not sure, but uh, players spilling down to the ice. Tangled up. And Becker will be the last one to pop up off the ice surface. Five minutes, 12 seconds left to go. Period number one. Watertown on the road taking on Danbury. No score, 9.55 into the game. Columbus has taken a 1-0 lead on the road in Carolina, 17.03 into the second there. It was a 6.05 faceoff. And right here, Nikita Ayavishkin from Sam Halesi. 4.35 into the game. Jens Peterson, who's in on net, and will take our final break. Four minutes and 44 seconds left to go in period number one. It's a 1-0 lead for the Binghamton Black Bears over the visiting Port Huron Prowlers. We're back right after this on your home for Black Bears Hockey, Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. Join thousands of Binghamton hockey fans and give us a follow on social media. Like our Facebook page, facebook.com slash blackbearsfphl. And give us a follow on Twitter and Instagram at blackbearsfphl. Get up to the second team news information, participate in contests, and get live game updates at home or on the road. Get interactive and say hello. Hit that follow button and give the new team some love. That's at blackbearsfphl on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Rob Lapolis on Fox Sports 1430. Big thanks to Rich back in the studio. Four minutes, 44 seconds to go in the first period. And it's Binghamton 1, Port Huron nothing. Shots on that. 10 to 4 favoring Binghamton. Face off in the offensive zone left wing circle. D'Angelo, Stevens, and Sherman. As Merkel steps up with the hit, the puck goes straight up in the air. And held on to by Shepard with 4.33 to go in the first. College students, every Saturday home game, you can get a $10 ticket to a Black Bears game and take your tickets up to Dillinger's after for a buy one, get one free drink. College students, $10 tickets and a buy one, get one free drink. You must be 21 and you might need to show proof of your college ID. 425 to go in the first. Still one nothing. Port Huron though, much better on the chance department tonight uh, than they were last night. But still trailing Binghamton one to nothing. 
Tyler Becker below the goal line inside the trapezoid. Becker, good pass, cross ice, that goes off the skate to Sherman. This will be an icing, I think. Yes, it will be an icing. That went off the skate to Sherman about a foot, maybe less than a foot, before center ice. And the Lions been getting together to talk about it. Hey, if you're in youth hockey in the Southern Tier, great news. You get a free season ticket, courtesy of the Black Bears. And it's a free season ticket to every Black Bears home game this season for the Southern Tier Hockey Association, the Ice House Hawks, and the Binghamton Blizzard. Family members get an $8 discount ticket with them. Enjoy your free season ticket. Best of luck in your season. 3.53 to go in the first, one nothing Binghamton. Shots 10-4, Stevens pushed into the end wall. Backhanded up the right wing side. Johnson now back behind the net. Connects with Austin Federley. Right at center. A long dump in goes up the back of the net. Dan stay. Nope, it hops right over the stick of the defenseman at the left point. Cross ice pass. Love that. Run into by Gino D'Angelo. And right at center. Sherman will dump in. Stevens comes to the bench. And a line change. Newberg, Ivechkin, Alessi all come on. No saw. Able to get back. Connecting with Bobby Sokol. Back is MJ Merkel. But the puck came out of the zone and offside is called. With 2.51 left to go in the first. Face off will be inside the neutral zone. No, oh, off the draw. It's Powell into the offensive zone. Turnover. Sokol pushed off the puck. Now to the bottom of the right top. Backhanded, intended for Sokol, stepping up from the right point. That is number 24, Nick Manzo. Now from the left point, Joseph Keenan. Keenan into the crease, poked away by Shepard. And here comes Iveshkin. Iveshkin, left circle, in behind the net, wraparound chance. He goes off the iron. That came off the crossbar and did stay out of the net. Almost giving the Black Bears a 2-0 lead. That would have been his second of the period, just like last night. Saucer in front, knocked away, and a big hit in the corner by Eric Oganezov. Oganezov scoops up behind the net of Shepard, and the lefty fumbles the puck up to Becker, but Becker gets it right back to Oganezov, and now he's got pressure behind the net. And finally just throws up the left wing side. Held in at the point. That got through everyone. Pinching up from the left side is Zachary Fresserov, and he scores. Great shot, keeping the puck inside the zone, and with 123 left in the first period, the point here on Prowlers have tied the game at one. Well, that started from the Great play at the left point, keeping the puck inside the zone. The four check, though, started this whole sequence. And a great shot. Face off coming up at center. And right away, bottom of the right wing circle. Lord Huron wanting some more here late in the first. Crawford, right side, Lambden. Lambden looks, didn't like what he saw at the point, so started to cycle down to Isaiah Crawford. Crawford, now to Zachary Fressera. Under a minute to go in period one. Now 
with 50 seconds left. Comes up to the left point, tipped in on that save made. As one player dropped his gloves, now they're gonna go. It's Becker, Becker takes a right, tries to get his hand free. There's a stick stuck in the equipment. And Becker, oh, the stick is causing problems for everyone as they're exchanging rights. It's Becker and Landon, and they go down. So a little pushing and shoving in front of the net. The gloves came off with 48.7 left to go in the first. Both the players will go to the locker room. Becker was skating to the penalty box and then said, well, I might as well just get a head start on the first intermission. Speaking of the first intermission, it's coming up. Presented by Excite Motorsports. Stay with us. We'll have full stats recap. The Binghamton Hockey Booster Club highlights. A look at the John Paul and State Farm out of town scoreboard and more. So don't go anywhere after the first 20 minutes of play. It'll be the Excite Motorsports first period intermission show. Not sure what the discussion is. Thought it would just be a, an easy five each for fighting. Face off. Looks like it'll be in the defensive zone right dot. Fighting. Big up to Black Bears penalty to number four, Tyler Decker. Five minutes. Five. That is Tyler Becker. 48.7 to go in the first. Top of the left circle. So, skating five on five. 40 seconds left in the first period. Tied at one. Delayed offside. Nope. Linesman put his hand down. Thought it was a delayed offside. I think Newbert thought the same thing as he had to peel back out to center. Shepard will stop the puck. 26 seconds on the dot. Left to go in the first. Tied at one. When the Black Bears win at home, be sure to get your coupon for a free drink at Red Jug Pub just across the river. Free drink when the Black Bears win at home, courtesy of Red Jug Pub. Black Bears with a chance late. Ten seconds to go. Iveshkin trying to cross up the defense. Good play, though, physically by Austin Federley. And offside call. That was a late whistle with 2.0 left to go in the first. Tied at one. That was a good play. Fans wanted a penalty, but Austin Federally, you got a guy cutting up, uh, cutting you across like that. Just use the body, get in front of him. That's what he did. And that's going to do it for the first 20 minutes of play. We will have the Excite Motorsports first period intermission show coming up. And a much closer game than last night, and you had to expect that uh, after the loss that Port Huron suffered at the hands of Bingham Tip. So after 20 minutes, it's the Port Huron Prowlers one and the Bingham Tip Black Bears one. When we come back, we'll kick off tonight's Excite Motorsports first period intermission show on your home for Black Bears hockey, Fox Sports 1430 Bingham Tip. New team, new great apparel. So you need to gear Pitching up this up season by visiting BinghamtonBlackBears.com. BinghamtonBlackBears.com is your go-to place to get up. Binghamton Black Bears apparel, jerseys, hats, t-shirts, phones, you name it, we have it. Send your child to school in style with tons of youth options. Or stop by the merchandise stand on the concourse at the next home game. Dress like the Black Bears and get everything you need now at BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Check out a Binghamton Black Bears game like you've never seen before. For the Skybox Night or Group Night. You can even watch warm-ups from the Black Bears bench with your friends. High-five the players as they take the ice and so much more. Or watch the game in style in a Skybox. And check out a new and improved food and drink menu. All the 
Black Bear at 607-722-7367 and begin your group or skybox experience. EBE CMS Imaging Solutions is the official French team of Singleton Black Bear. For 40 years, they've been serving businesses around the southern tier. Locally owned and operated, EBE CMS Imaging Solutions has a full line of authorized and Kyocera products. With multi-function printers, copiers, and fax machines, they'll help you determine which product is best for your needs, and their staff provides fast and efficient service. EBE CMS Imaging Solutions, 607-723-0000. Getting your hands on an all-new CF Moto side-by-side -side four-wheeler is now easier than ever at ExciteMotorsports.com. Purchase your next power sports vehicle with our new, easy, and quick online buying experience. Browse inventory on ExciteMotorsports.com. Buy. Get approved for financing and e-sign online right from your phone. Ride. Have your new power sport vehicle delivered to your home the next day at no extra charge. Browse. Buy. Ride. Fun starts here at ExciteMotorsports.com. The first period is in the books. It's time for the Excite Motorsports Intermission Report. A recap of the first period, interviews, highlights, out-of-town scores, and more. Back up to the Planet Fitness broadcast booth for the Excite Motorsports Intermission Report. Here's Rob Lapolis. Welcome back inside the Vision Veterans Memorial Arena. Rob Lapolis with you. Welcome to the Excite Motorsports first period intermission show. Excite Motorsports. Browse, ride, buy. Free next day delivery to New York NPA. Visit them online at excitemotorsports.com. Well, recapping uh, that first period of play. Shots on net 11 for Binghamton, 7 and for Port Huron. And that was Nikita Ayevichkin from Sam Holesi to give the Black Bears a 1-0 lead. Holesi forced the turnover on the side of the net and fed Ayevichkin, who did not wait at all to take the shot. That came four minutes and 35 seconds into the game. Binghamton led 1-0. Then late in the first, Zachary Fressera and was able to keep the puck. The down the left wing side, Cade Lambden picked up the assist. And at 18.37, Port Huron tying the game. Now Fressera with the goal, again, even strength. And that's where we are right now, 1-1 after one period. Penalties in that first, two for each side. MJ Merkel at 638 for roughing. It was a hard hit along the side of the boards right as the whistle was blowing. Uh, they elected to make that call. Two-minute penalty, and then at 947, Dustin Henning for tripping. And a little bit of a knee-on-knee -knee contact. Henning went off as he took down Kyle Powell. And Cade Lambden. And Tyler Becker dropping the gloves. And that came at 19-11. So that was right after Lambden helped tie the game at one. Then he drops the mitts with Tyler Becker at 19-11. That was a five-minute penalty. And that's going to carry over into the second period. That is a look at the stats recap from the first 20 minutes of play. Stay with us. And when we come back, we'll break down the highlights and have them for you of the first two goals of this one. 13 minutes on the clock here as we'll continue the Excite Motorsports Intermission Report right after this on your home for Black Bears Hockey, Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. Check out a Binghamton Black Bears game like you've never seen before for the Skybox Night or Group Night. You can even watch warm-ups from the Black Bears bench with your friends, high-five the players as they take the ice, and so much more. Or watch the game in style in a Skybox and check out a new and improved food and drink menu. Call the Black Bears at 607-722-7367 and begin your group or Skybox experience. 
the first to get all the latest Binghamton Black Bears news, special exclusive offers, and stay up to date on upcoming games by signing up to join the Binghamton Black Bears email club. Just head to BinghamtonBlackBears.com and sign up today. You'll receive team-related news delivered right to your inbox. Keep an eye out for special exclusive offers only available to email club members. It's the Binghamton Black Bears email club. Sign up and start saving money today. When a hockey team ends up with six skaters and a goalie on the ice, it means somebody forgot to double check. And when you end up paying more for car insurance than you need to, it can also mean somebody forgot to double check. That's why State Farm will do a free discount double check by going through your policies to make sure you're getting all the discounts you deserve. Because those discounts could mean big league savings. It pays to double check. Call State Farm agent John Paulin in Johnson City today at 607-798-7191. Get access to exclusive player events, monthly parties, and road trips to away Black Bears games. This is what you get when you become a member of the Binghamton Black Bears Booster Club. Stop by the Booster Club table behind Section 4 at the next Black Bears home game, pick up a 50-50 ticket, and sign up to join for just $10. Stay up to date on the Booster Club by liking their Facebook page, facebook.com slash Binghamton Black Bears Booster Club. Monthly meetings with players, road trips, and a whole lot of fun when you join the Black Bears Booster Club. Now back to more of the Excite Sports Intermission Show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back inside the Vision Veteran Memorial Arena. Rob Lapolis with you as we have highlights of the first 20 minutes of play presented as always by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. And it would be Nikita Ayavechkin getting things going early on, 4.35 into the game. But even earlier than that, the puck went off the stick of Ayavechkin. He shot it, went off the glass, came back over, bounced off the net, and it was close. That's all we'll say. Uh, the red light did come on, but the officials and linesmen, a difficult task. As there's no replay, so uh, what, however you see it, you, know, you got to gather and discuss it, and they decided it was no goal. And you have to think, uh, hey, even though the red light came on, uh, how positive are we that that puck was in the net? And when they discussed it, obviously uh, it seems like they didn't all come to the same agreement, so safe bet on that is just say, hey, no goal, and move on. But Binghamton uh, took advantage maybe of that, and Nikita Ayavichkin uh, got one. That counted. That was Merkel and Sokol. Now there's Dan Sokol on the Black Bears. Turn has a 1-0 lead, 4 minutes and 35 seconds into the game. So 4.35 into the game, Ivishkin, 1-0 lead for the Black Bears. And then late, Zachary Fressera, great shot from the left side to tie the game in one. Pitching up from the left side is Zachary Fressera, and he scores. Great shot, keeping the puck inside the zone, and with 123 left in the first period, Put here on Prowlers have tied the game at one. So the game is tied at one now, right now. That's where we stand. And good shots on that 11 for Binghamton and 7 for Port Huron. We will take another break. When we come back, we'll have a look at the John Paul and State Farm out of town scoreboard. Stay with us on your home for Black Bears Hockey, Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. Getting your hands on an all-new CF Moto side-by-side -side or four-wheeler is now easier than ever at ExciteMotorsports.com. Purchase your next power sports vehicle with our new, easy, and quick online buying experience. Browse inventory on ExciteMotorsports.com. Buy. Get approved for financing and e-sign online right from your phone. Ride. Have your new power sports vehicle delivered to your home the next day at no extra charge. Browse. Buy. Ride. Fun starts here at ExciteMotorsports.com. Hard hitting action of Black Bears hockey is back Thanksgiving Eve this Wednesday against Danbury at 7 p.m. Back, Ivitskin, drop pass! Josh Newberg, tie game! Live 
music on the concourse leading up to puck drop. Hockey is back in Binghamton the night before Thanksgiving. Binghamton, Danbury, get your tickets now. The area's premier fitness facility, Court Jester Athletic Club, is excited to be open and ready to serve you during your next workout. Join in a new and improved gym experience with fitness and safety top of mind. Updated cleaning and sanitation procedures will help keep you healthy and ready to keep pushing. Plus, utilize the newly renovated and remodeled equipment and exercise spaces. Reach your goals and escape your limits at Court Jester Athletic Club, a one-stop fitness experience. Since 1939, Inwell Rug has been family-owned and operated with one goal in mind, complete customer satisfaction. Inwell Rug offers a full spectrum of the finest quality floor covering products, and they are the premier installer at Binghamton University. Inwell Rug was voted the Reader's Choice Award winner for Best Flooring Store in 2019 and in 2020, with two locations in Inwell and Oneonta. They're the best floor show in town. In Will Rugg at 607-748-7366. Now back to more of the Excite Motorsports Intermission Show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Rob Lopolis uh, with you as we'll tell you a little bit more here about this uh, bus trip with the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. January 15th, the Danbury hat trick. The cost is $76. Sign-up deadline is December 17th. And then the final payment is needed December 31st. Trips are open to members and non-members. So if you're thinking about joining the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club, jump on the bus with them and head to Danbury January 15th. And then the second one is up in Watertown, February 20th, a 3 p.m. game. The cost is $60. And uh, we hope to see you on the road with the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. Let's get to the John Paul and State Farm out of town scoreboard. After 20 minutes of play, Watertown and Danbury, no score. And they're about set to get underway in the third period. Columbus, a 1-0 lead in Carolina. Jagger Williamson, 218 into the second power play tally, and that is it so far. And three penalties in the first and five in the second. So eight total in that one, and they're getting set to get underway in period number three. Over in the NHL earlier today, final, the Carolina Hurricanes, 14-2 and two record. They go on the road and take down the L.A. Kings 5-4. The New Jersey Devils, 5-3 winners on the road in Tampa. End of two down in Florida. It's the Panthers three in the Minnesota Wild one. The Pittsburgh Penguins have built a 2-0 lead in Toronto over the Maple Leafs. Canadians won, and the Predators nothing, but it's the Predators out shooting the Canadians 15-9. Calgary Flames a 2-1 lead over the New York Islanders. Manji Apani the goal, the go-ahead goal, I should say. Brock Nelson got it going for the Islanders. The Bruins a 1-0 lead in Philadelphia after 20 minutes of play. And later tonight, the Detroit Red Wings will visit the Arizona Coyotes and the St. Louis Blues on the road to take on the Stars. Golden Knights and Blue Jackets go at it. The Blackhawks visit the Oilers. Capitals on the road to take on the Sharks and postponed the Ottawa Senators and the New York Rangers. That is a look at the out-of-town scoreboard presented by John Paulin State Farm. Visit them online at pauliniinsurance.com or call 607 7 Nine eight seven one nine one. Well, that'll do it for the Excite Motorsports first period intermission show. Excite Motorsports. Browse, ride, buy. Free next day delivery to New York NPA. Visit them online at excitemotorsports.com. We'll take our final break. And when we come back, We'll drop the puck on period two. Coming up next on your home for Black Bears hockey, Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton.
Hi folks, Erwin Coe Sr. here from Big E Tire. It's our buy three, get one absolutely free sale. Oh, I know what you're saying. Wow, another tire sale. No, there's more. Listen, now when you buy three tires from Big E, you will get one tire absolutely free with free mounting, free lifetime balancing, free rotation, free 90-day road hazard warranty, free alignment check, free 30-day ride guarantee. Yeah, it's good, because the other guys charge you for everything. At Big E, everything is free. Interest-free financing for up to 12 months and the fastest air-free alignments in the Northeast. So call for details or just stop in. And thanks for the business. Both cars and trucks and tractors, too. Everything's right, so right for you. Best all around are Big E Tire and Auto Centers. Big E Tire. I love those guys. Shop on eBay this holiday season to get more for your dough on stand mixers. Mm. Or get more for your buck on this season's hottest tech and gaming gear. And on eBay, you can even get more <laughs> Thanksgiving deals with a second helping of savings. The holidays are here. You can get more because you save more on premium brands with eBay's exclusive Thanksgiving deals. Get more when you get it on eBay. The t-shirt toss is still here, and it's better than ever. The next time you're at a Binghamton Black Bears home game inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena, stay in your seat after warm-ups for the Stone Fox t-shirt toss. Then it's the Colonial t-shirt toss after 20 minutes, followed by the Dos Rios t-shirt toss after two periods. Three chances to win a t-shirt every home game. Visit Stone Fox, Colonial, and Dos Rios, all within a block of the arena after every home game. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430. I'm Jack. Welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Rob Lapolis with you. Appreciate you tuning in. Whether you're uh, inside the arena, tuning in on Fox Sports 1430, or you could even be right at home. Hopefully with the heat on. Or tuning in on YouTube. We appreciate it. As we're getting a set here for second period action, the Black Bears in their green jerseys. They will go from left to right on your radio dial. And if you're watching on YouTube as well, Port Huron in the white jerseys, a black lettering it looks like, trimmed in red. They will go from right to left. Hope you're having a great night. And the puck is down in period number two is underway. Change in the Port of Huron Prowler's goal. Goal was scored by number 14, Zachary Fasura. Assisted by number six, Cade Landon. And by number 77, Quinton Roseboom. Top of the goal, 1837. Now a little change there. Add an assist to Roseboom uh, for the blast from the left wing circle. And tied the game at one. We're back underway, 19.30 to go in the second period. Again, still tied up, one apiece. Rob Lapolis with you. Appreciate you joining us. Side of the net, puck is loose, and the referee was like, hey, someone's got to make a move here, either cover it or play it. He was looking right at it from about eight feet away. MJ Merkel right at center. And this will be an icing, actually, I think it will. Merkel tried to sneak off the ice, but uh, they did not. He didn't get away with it, I should say, so he'll have to come back out on the ice. Face off will be in the defensive zone. Defensive zone, left wing circle, 55 seconds gone here in the second. Newberg on the draw, pulled back to the point. Jurich went after it at the right point, but held in on the right wing side. 18.56 to go in the second period. It's a 1-1 game. Late goal in the first. For Port Huron, that tied it all up. Now the Black Bears back at it Wednesday. That is the night before Thanksgiving, usually a pretty big night uh, anywhere, I should say. 
as the Prowlers will ice the puck and whistle coming up with 18.31 to go in the second. And so the big night before Thanksgiving. Don't think that night really happened last year with everything going on and the hockey season delayed uh, as well. It's been a long time since some folks have been able to really celebrate that Thanksgiving Eve. And you can get it started right here. Igor Nosov, who went hammered at the left point was Eric Oganezov, but he had to make the play. Shot by Nosov, right leg pad save made. And now the Prowlers move ahead from right to left. Newberg caught up to Soilis. And losing an edge at center ice, or was he helped? It was Sherman, I think, or Sam Halesi. And then he gets into it with Federley. The goalie comes over, pulling away. That's Corey Simons. Just a little dust up. And that'll be it. We have 18.03 left to go. In the second. Rob Lapolis with you. Thanks for joining us here live inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Face off will come out of the zone. And some people might ask why. When the defenseman of the team in the offensive zone get involved in a scrum. Well, the faceoff comes outside the zone that's designed to uh, eliminate those scrums getting bigger. And the defenseman, if they would have stayed put right at the blue line or at the top of the circle even, as long as you don't get in the scrum, you're good. But the minute they got involved in the faceoff immediately, he was deemed to come out of the zone. Powell, offensive zone, he lost the puck. Right on the side of the net, cleared in below the goal line, and then right back out front in a nice right leg pad save made. Jens Peterson with a shot. Corey Simons with a great save. In and out of the glove of Shepard, and he'll get the rebound as well. It hangs on with 17.24 to go in period two. Now taking a look at the schedule coming up. For the Binghamton Black Bears. We'll get back to that in a second as the puck is dropped rather quickly. Back underway. Jurich couldn't get to the puck. And now a chance. Good diving play. They'll call a penalty, but well, he got the puck first. And even if you call that, can't be mad at it, to be honest. And good to see Crawford getting up. That was a, a hard collision into the end wall. Oganezov will say, hey, I got the puck first. He did, but it's always a tough call a lot of times. So you get that puck first. And then Crawford slid hard into the end boards. And he is getting off the ice. You'll see Oganezov gets the puck first and then takes Crawford down. Crawford, though, great job. It was such a fast play. He was able to get up and hit the board's chest first, which had to feel much better than if he would have went shoulder first like it looked like he was going to. So penalty to Eric Oganezov. Two minutes for tripping, and it's a Trivium packaging penalty kill. Three minutes into the second period. Oganesov, two minutes for tripping, time of the penalty, three minutes. Oganesov, two minutes for tripping, time of the penalty, three minutes. Whistle quickly. We have 16.47 to go in the second period, and 13 seconds gone from the Eric Oganesov penalty. Chuck came in from the point. Good glove save by. Joe Shepard. Shots are 16 to 9. Binghamton. Igor Nosov up the left wall. And Ivishkin goes down to the ice. He gets right back up. He got tangled up with Henning. 
16 minutes, 33 seconds now to go in the second. Appreciate you tuning in, whether you're on uh, YouTube or the the old radio, Fox Sports 1430 right here in Binghamton or the iHeart Radio app. And you can also listen live on the Black Bears website. Plenty of ways to follow along. Henning, those cross ice, bottom of the right wing circle, and Shepard will just cover the puck up off the kick plate. And a whistle is 16.08 to go in the second and a minute nine left in the trivia packaging penalty kill. Face off will be in the defensive zone left dot. And hey, if you want a shout out tonight, depending where, uh, what you say, all you got to do is head to BinghamtonBlackBears.com, click listen live on the Black Bears website, and you can fill out a form. We got to about five of them last night. And, uh, you can hear your message read live on the air. And even if you are from Port Huron, if you're nice, we'll. Uh, to try to get your read as well as it's only the home feed uh, here in the FPHL. Well, again, that's being up to blackbears.com. Click listen live, and you'll see the form right there. Up to Federley. Under a minute to go in the power play for the Prowlers. Just inside the blue line, low shot, save Shepard. Puck still free. They can't get to it. Held in at the right point by Federley. He'll go to the right side, now to the left side. Good deflection by the back, up top to Johnson. Over to Federley, and the blast is stopped. And the Black Bears' long pass connects with Stevens. Stevens, right along the left wing boards. He fights for the puck below the goal line. 22 seconds to go before the Black Bears get back to even strength. Johnson, top of the left circle, backhand saucer pass, center point, Federley. Federley, give and go, gets it back. Five feet inside the blue line, he'll go to the right side, shot, shoulder save made by Shepard, and the Black Bears clear. Two seconds, one, penalty box door opens, and Eric Oganazov is out of the box, back to even strength, with 14.54 to go in period two. Just inside the trapezoid, up the left wall. Pass behind Crawford. Good to see him back out there after that hard collision down low. Pin up against the boards. Zachary Fressera. He's got the goal for Port Huron. Up to the right point. Shot. Chest save by Shepard. And he hangs on. We'll take a break. 14 minutes and 33 seconds left to go in the second period. Tie game at one. Back to Binghamton right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. New team, new website. Check out the all-new Binghamton Black Bears website, BinghamtonBlackBears.com. See all of the Black Bears' upcoming promotions, the latest news on your Black Bears. Check out up-to-the-second standings and stats and save money with special offers. You can even listen to every broadcast and see what's been happening on their social media. Be sure to follow the Black Bears on social media as well. Stay up-to-date with everything Black Bears at www.BinghamtonBlackBears.com. off in the defensive zone, left wing circle. Shots are 16-14 as Port Huron has had some great chances here in the second. Yates, Jurich, oh, good defensive play right in front of the crease. That was Nick Manzo going down. And that was a heck of a play right at the top of the crease. Now from the right point, it's Sherman. Backhand down low. Gavin Yates up the right wing side. Yates peels at the top of the circles, goes down low for Becker. Becker floats the puck right through the top of the crease and now right to center. No saw will just hammer it all the way down. 13.48 to go, second period, tied at one. Live from the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. What do we have here? 
two, three, four, five, six. That is six on the ice. Can't argue it. <laughs> they caught him. And the Black Bears will go down a skater. It'll be a Trivium packaging penalty kill with 13.44 to go in the second period. And coming over will be Shalafu. He'll take the, he'll serve the penalty. So Mikhail Shalafu will serve the too many men on the ice penalty. Again, the uh, Booster Club heading to Danbury on January 15th and then Watertown on February 20th. And you could sign up uh, right at their table behind section four at the next Black Bears home game. So 13 minutes, 28 seconds to go in the second period, even up at one. And a two minute penalty underway as Mikhail Shalafu sitting in the box. It's too many men on the ice, and uh, he was the chosen one to serve the penalty. Up to the left point, Federley backhands. Down low, Levac. Levac, nice move. Using the body to keep the defenders away. Bottom of the left wing circle attempt pass. Fails, and then Shepard will cover. And get a whistle at 12.57 remaining in period number two. Faceoff will be inside the defensive zone. Right wing circle. 12.57 to go, period number two, tied at one. 114 remaining in the Trivium packaging. Penalty kill, face off in the Black Bears defensive zone. Right wing circle back up top to Johnson. Over to the right wing side, Federley, Federley rising shot, he scores. That is a power play goal. And the Prowlers have a 2-1 lead with 12.50 to go in the second. Well, the shot came in from Austin Federley, his sixth of the year. And that went through traffic as his shot came flying in from the right point. Didn't touch anyone and went straight in. It was right off the face off. D to D pass from Johnson, the top of the circle, just right over the right shoulder, it looked like, of Shepard. And a 2 1 lead for Port Huron. Port Huron Prowlers penalty scored by number 19, Austin Federley, assisted by number 25, Alex Port Huron Johnson. penalty scored. 12.37 <laughs> to go in the second. And it's a 2 1 lead. Jurich trying to tie the game. Forehand up, backhand, and a big save made by Corey Simons. A great chance to even the scoring up. Man, it's boy Port Huron looking much better here tonight. And we talked about this right when the puck dropped. Just because it was an 8-1 win last night and uh, pretty much the same lineups. Drop pass, snapper, tipped just wide. Becker got a stick on it. The puck skittered wide to the right post. Save made. And oh yeah, guys got to get back and help out defensively. Everyone trying to get a little head start out of the neutral zone. As Gavin Yates jumped the gun just a bit. Crawford, backhand pass, bottom of the left wing circle, right back to Crawford. Sherman pushes Crawford, and then pinned by Nosov, and Igor Nosov will elevate the puck all the way down. Stops right before the goal line, so no icing. Black players in a line change, got to get back. Tipped, taken, and what do we have now? Is there too many men on the ice again? There is. Back to back, too many men on the ice penalties. Someone now jumped the gun again. So 11.24 to go in the second. Back to back, too many men on the ice penalties. And some miscommunication going on right down on the Black Bears bench. Face off will be in the defensive zone. 
left wing circle. Someone's got to serve the penalty. And well, there's a lot of confusion. So the face off again in the defensive zone left circle someone has got to get on the ice and skate over to the penalty box and finally it'll be Gavin Yates uh, hopping on to come over and serve the too many men on the ice penalty. So golden chance for Port Huron here a 2 1 lead for the Prowlers already. different looking Prowler lineup tonight. It's Newberg down the right side. Josh Newberg centers. Blocked before the puck got to the top of the crease and the Prowlers settling and slowly moving ahead on the breakout. They'll dump it in and chase after it. Eric Oganezov backhands up the boards now intercepts and he has the puck. Oganezov will peel back into the defensive zone. And then it's deflected to Newberg. Newberg in shot, save made, and the rebound popped down right in front of the goaltender, Corey Simons, and then he found it and covered for the whistle. Smart play, though, by Newberg, just floating it in. Let the goalie hold on to it, get that offensive zone face off. And if you can win the face off in the offensive zone, uh, either maybe try to get a scoring chance or back up a little bit out to center ice and burn some time. 10 minutes 37 seconds to go in the second. A little toe drag inside the circle and the puck goes off his skate as Stevens had the chance and now flying down the right side Isaiah Crawford Crawford right circle good pass bottom of the left down off the outside of the post and out of play and the faceoff will stay inside Binghamton's defensive zone with 10 19 to go in the second. 56 seconds to go in the too many men on the ice penalty so the trivium packaging penalty kill is back in effect. Face off in the defensive zone shots even at 18. Blast towards the net wouldn't go. I mean you take a look at the shots on goal. Now Port Huron. I believe for the first time all weekend. It was 11 shots in the first, seven in the second. Now for Binghamton. Fressera, low shot, save Shepard. Puck came free. Referee lost sight of it. Whistle blows, and we will take a timeout. Nine minutes and 52 seconds to go in the second period. And it's a 2-1 lead for the visiting Port Huron Prowlers. We're back to Binghamton right after this on your home for Black Bears Hockey, Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. Inside the Visions Federates Memorial Arena. Black Bears trailing two to one. And the power play for Port Huron has another 23 seconds to go. Johnson. Shot from the point. Oh, and that skipped just wide. The puck was up in the air, kind of mooned over everyone. Right point, Federley, left side, Johnson, back inside the right wing circle. Cross ice pass, it got away from the back. Now 
Federley off the glass. Tangled down low. Penalty is over. And back to five on five. Johnson from the left point. Now out to the right point. Federley inside the right wing circle. Puck loose. Top of the crease. Chipped into the corner. To the left of Joe Shepard. In net for Binghamton. Becker. And Jurich. Jurich inside the center ice circle. He tries to get back on the back check. Swept away by Shepard and all the way down the ice. Icing is waved off as Federley must have touched it. Right back behind the net. On the stick of Alex Johnson. Johnson hit hard by Newberg and then Newberg back to Becker in below the goal line. Tyler Becker waits. Goes up the left side for Kyle Powell. Powell's pass out of the reach of Ivishkin, and that'll be an icing with 8.22 to go in period two. And the Black Bears trailing two to one. So 8.22 to go. Taking the face off. Newberg to his right will be Becker. Blast from the top of the circle held on to by Joe Shepard and a whistle with 8.12 to go in the second. Defensive zone, right wing circle. Off the draw, right in the skates. And it kicked up by Mikhail Shalafu. Igor Nosa behind the net, backhand, left leg pad save made by Shepard. Larry Yellowknee to Shalafu, out of his reach, and Shalafu lost an edge in the offensive zone. Deflected right at center ice by Stavros Soilis. No saw. Hit in the left shoulder. Moves the puck to center. Turn right back over. Now Shepard has to come out of his net and leave the puck for Powell below the goal line. Gino D'Angelo cut down along the left wall. And a big hit by Larry Yellowney at center ice. D'Angelo. Ahead, Shalafu, it got by him. D'Angelo in on the four check. D'Angelo is crunched. Pass up to the point, Powell. Powell tipped in front of the net. D'Angelo tried to get the stick on it, and the lefty couldn't convert all the way down the ice. Icing waved off as Crawford there. Isaiah Crawford loops top of the circle side of the net blocker pad saved by Shepard as he kicked off that left post came back to the right got the blocker on the puck Johnson back for Austin Federley now Stevens drop pass for Iveshkin Iveshkin in rising shot goes wide picks it up behind the net tries to find some help turn Fires a wrister and it's held on to by Corey Simons with 6.40 to go in the second. And a little jousting going on at the top of the crease. So six minutes and 40 seconds to go in the second. Hey, hockey fans, holiday packs are on sale now, and it's the perfect gift. You get four tickets, four hats, and four T-shirts for just $99. And with that, you'll save over 130 bucks. Get your holiday packs by visiting the Black Bears front office on the third floor of the arena. 6.40 to go, second period. Becker up top with Merkel. Newberg taking the draw. Ivechkin to the right and Stevens to the left. Stevens to the puck below the goal line. Nice little blind backhand pass by Ivichkin intended for Josh Newberg. Merkel at center. Now to Newberg. Newberg left side. Nice play. Stevens drags in front. Centers knocked out of the way by the goalie. Newberg tried to lift the stick of Levac. And quickly ahead, Williams. His shot is tipped up and out of play. And another whistle. 
This time with 6-12 to go in the second, and the Black Bears down 2-1. to one. Boy, this period's really been all Port Huron. Out shooting the Black Bears right now, 17-8 to eight in the second. Black Bears getting into just a little bit of penalty trouble on the mental side of things. Back to back, too many men on the ice penalties. Ace off in the defensive zone. Right wing circle pulled back to Manzo. Manzo, a little give and go from the left point. Knocked wide by Sherman. Look at Azov with a shoulder hit. And it's Sherman backhanding to center. Intercepted. Jurich lost the puck at his skates. He goes down. And there was a player. Henning went down awkwardly. He might be hurt, but just lost his stick. Picked it right back up. Sukel. On the right wing side, dishes the puck behind the net. 5.32 to go, second period. A 2-1 lead for Port Huron. They're wanting more. Low shot, wide of the net. And the Black Bears, Tyler Jurich, ahead for Gavin Yates. Yates is in, shot, and that is tip wide. Manzo, now Yates. Yates up the left wing side to the left point. Powell, Powell's shot deflects off the glass. Eric Organazov steps up from the point. Someone's got a cover. It's going to be Sherman. Now Powell, center blue, right side for Sherman. He's got space. No one was in front of the net. And a pretty easy save for Corey Simons. We'll take a break. Four minutes, 55 seconds left to go in the second period. It is a 2-1 lead for the Port Huron Prowlers. Back to Binghamton right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. The Binghamton Black Bears are hitting the ice this season at Visions Federal Credit Union, Veterans Memorial Arena, and we want you to see all the hard-hitting action of Black Bears hockey all season long. That's why Visions members can get discounted tickets to every home game this season. It's one of the many reasons to join the Visions family today. To get your member discount and see the Black Bears in action, visit visionsfcu.org slash events. Visions Federal Credit Union, federally insured by NCUA. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430, Binghamton. Rob the Polis back with you. Power play goal by Austin Federley. As given Port here on a 2-1 lead. off. Inside the offensive zone right wing circle. Big hit by Sam Halesi. Well, it's been all Port Huron here in this second period, but still plenty of time left in this game. And an icing as Igor Nosov is back to touch up. Face off. We'll see where the Black Bears want it. Yeah, they'll choose the right wing circle now in the offensive zone. It'll be Newberg on the drive. That's good to the right. The linesman telling Michigan and Johnson to pack up a bit. And now we'll need a new center. Finally, the puck is dropped. Back underway, 4.34 to go in the second period. We're live in Binghamton. Rob Lapolis on Fox Sports 14.30. Big thanks to Rich back in the studio. 
Black Bears need one, down by a goal. Late in the second. Oh, lead pass. Here's Crawford. Breakaway. Save. And the rebound is pushed wide by Crawford. And now Newberg is with Ivishkin. Gives it to him down the left side. The trailer, Halesi, shot wide of the net. Scooped up by Ivishkin. Ivishkin, high slot. He gave the puck away to Crawford. Crawford on another rush. He's with Johnson. Crawford, shot, save, rebound. Left leg pad save, right leg pad save, I mean by Joe Shepard. And he covers on a pile of players to the right of the net. Crawford with some great chances. The first was a breakaway. That was stopped. He got to the rebound, sent it off the outside of the net. Binghamton came right back the other way. Sam Halesi with a chance. And then Crawford again down the left side. The rebound was right there to the right of Shepard. As Crawford took the shot, nice snapper. Puck leaked out of Crawford or out of Shepard. And then he got that right leg pad out. And was able to hang on. Back and forth action here. Entertaining game here on a Saturday. Here's a chance for Jurich. Late in the second to tie the game. Backhander just wide. Now trailing is Merkel. The shot and a glove save made with 3.35 to go in the second. Back and forth action. Tons of action here in this period. Face off. Coming up in the offensive zone right wing circle. On the breakout, Gavin Yates catches up. Lifts the puck over the defense and the four check is on. Sherman thought about it and he peeled up. Turnover. Huggenazov pushed out of the ice. We heard coach say, hey, we ran the 2 1 2. And it was great last night as the back on the side of the net. You could see him try to scoop the puck up over the shoulder of Joe Shepard. 2.58 to go in the second. Chance. Shepard. Glock save. And he hangs on. With 2.55 to go in the second, flashing that glove as he was in a split going to his left and rips it out of the air for the whistle and to keep it at a one goal deficit for Binghamton. He'll drop the puck in the defensive zone left circle. Right below the goal line. Up the right side. No solve intercepts. Backhand connects with Jens Peterson. Peterson shot. Tipped in front. Score! Tie. Give it two. shoulder of the goaltender off the bar and down fortunate bounce but D'Angelo read it and snuck in behind the defenseman by number 88, Igor Nozov. Time of the goal, 17-18. D'Angelo from Peterson and Nozov. Time of the goal, 17-18. Well, that'll get the crowd bumping here towards the end of the second. So D'Angelo with the tip in front. And just what a smart play. It went off the defenseman. Johnson trying to get back, but D'Angelo got in behind him. 
and he was fired up. So penalties now coming up after that play. Graham to the box. And it looks like Stevens for Binghamton. It is. So Matt Graham sitting in the penalty box along with Kyle Stevens. 2-10 left to go, second period. Graham, two minutes roughing, time of the penalty, 17.50. Graham, two minutes for roughing, time of the penalty, 17.50. And obviously, uh, Stevens as well. Here's Becker. Four on four. 145 to go in the second. Becker, offensive zone. Knocked the puck off the stick below the goal line. That was Nick Manzo. And now it'll be Port Huron on the breakout. So this is setting up for a good third period. Ivishkin blocked wide by Dustin Henning. Henning is on Ivishkin. Ivishkin below the goal line. The puck swiped off his stick, and then he goes up top left point. No solve, right side. Good, Rister, and a great glove save made by Corey Simons. With 1.12 to go in the second. Minute two to go in the four on four. Stay with us for the Excite Motorsports second period intermission report. Face off coming up in the Black Bears offensive zone right wing circle. With a buck 12 to go in the second. Gino D'Angelo has tied the game at two late here in period two. Stepping up was Merkel. And he was taken down to the ice. Gets right back up. And he arrives late after he was twisted inside the neutral zone. Merkel up the left wall, the center, under a minute to go in the second. Johnson. Johnson goes back to Austin Federley. Federley over the blue line, offensive zone. Rister, save right up in the air, and then knocked down by Powell. Sherman held in by Johnson. 27 seconds to go in the second period. MJ Merkel back for Gavin Yates. Yates lost the puck. Black Bears got a hustle back. Top of the left wing circle, Severo Soilis. 12 seconds left. Merkel back behind the net. Starts the puck up the left side for Sherman. Five seconds left. Powell knocks the puck. One second to go. Got to take the shot. Stevens ran out of time. And after 40 minutes of play, the game is tied up at two goals apiece. We are setting up for... A fantastic third period of play. This game is tied at two. The Black Bears trailing in shots by four. And Port Huron has really come uh, to play here tonight. Little chatter after the... Smiling and talking after the period. And now everyone will exit the ice. We will exit the air and take a commercial break. After two periods of play, it's the Port Huron Prowlers 2 and the Binghamton Black Bears 2. When we return, we'll have the Excite Motorsports second period intermission report on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. Center located at 119 Jennings Street in Indy. Eight amazing lanes of bowling, large video screens, and automatic scores. But that's not all. 
Ideal Bowling Center has a newly remodeled bar with six televisions, billiards, darts, and quick draw to entertain you. Don't forget about Ideal Bowling Center's snack counter for your appetite and a pro shop for all your bowling needs. Ideal Bowling Center, 119 Jennings Street in Endicott, or call 607-748-3546. All right, hitting action on Black Bears Hockey is back Thanksgiving Eve this Wednesday against Danbury at 7 p.m. Leading up to puck drop. Hockey is back in Binghamton the night before Thanksgiving. Binghamton, Danbury, get your tickets now. Get moving today with the Planet Fitness Life Card and check out all the perks. Like access to over 2,000 locations. Bring a guest anytime. Plus massage chairs and so much more. With tons of space in our super clean clubs. Your fitness is essential. Get all the perks with the PF Black Card. Commitment may apply. Seek love for details. Getting your hands on an all-new CF Moto side-by-side or four-wheeler is now easier than ever at ExciteMotorsports.com. <coughs> it's your next power sports vehicle with our new, easy, and quick online buying experience. Browse inventory on ExciteMotorsports.com. Buy. Get approved for financing and e-sign online right from your phone. Ride. Have your new power sports vehicle delivered to your home the next day at no extra charge. Browse. Buy. Ride. Fun starts here at ExciteMotorsports.com. Two periods are complete. It's time for the Excite Motorsports Intermission Report. A recap of the first two periods, interviews, highlights, out-of-town scores, and more. Back up to the Planet Fitness broadcast booth for the Excite Motorsports Intermission Report. After 40 minutes of play, it is a 2-2 game here inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Rob Lapolis with you. Welcome inside the Excite Motorsports second period intermission report. Excite Motorsports. Browse, ride, buy. Free next day delivery to New York NPA. Visit them online at excitemotorsports.com. Hey, the Learning Ladder Child Care Centers are located in Endicott in Johnson City. They enroll children ages 6 weeks to 12 years old. Call 607-770-3806 for an appointment today to walk through one of their facilities. Come join our families, and they will help your child grow. Looking at the stats from periods number one and two, in that first period, the Black Bears got it going. 435 into the game. Nikita Ivishkin from Sam Halesi at 435. Binghamton won. Port here on nothing. Then late in the first, it was Zachary Fressera from Cade Lambden and Quentin Roseboom to tie the game at one. Heading into the intermission, we go to the second. Port here on Austin Federley from Alex Johnson and Matt Graham at 708. And the Prowlers had their first lead of the weekend, but Gino D'Angelo, a fantastic tip from Jens Peterson and Igor Nosov at 17-18, and that has tied the game at two after two. Shots on net port here on with 29 shots. 22 of those shots came in that second period. They had seven in the first, 22 in the second, total of 29 through 40. And for Binghamton, 14 shots in the second. They had 11 in the first and totaling 25. And that seems like one of the lower uh, shot totals for two teams that we have seen this season after 40 minutes of play. Penalties in the second. There were five of them. Eric Oganezov went off for tripping three minutes into the second and then back to back. Too many men on the ice. Bench minor penalties. Mikhail Shalafu served the first one at 616, and then Gavin Yates at 836. Matt Graham and Josh Newberg both went off for roughing at 1750. And there's a little chatter at the end of that second period. We'll see if anything carries over into the third period. That is a stats recap of the first 40 minutes of play. We are going to take a break. And when we come back, though, we'll queue up the highlights for you. After 40, it is Binghamton 2. Port Huron 2, the Excite Motorsports Intermission Show continues right after this on your home for Black Bears Hockey, Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. 
EBE CMS Imaging Solutions is the official printer provider of the Binghamton Black Bears. For over 40 years, they've been serving businesses around the southern tier. Locally owned and operated, EBE CMS Imaging Solutions has a full line of authorized Canon, Sharp, and Kyocera products. With multi-function printers, copiers, and fax machines, they'll help you determine which product is best for your needs, and their staff provides fast and efficient service. EBE CMS Imaging Solutions, 607-723-0000. Zero. Hard hitting action of Black Bears hockey is back Thanksgiving Eve this Wednesday against Danbury at 7 p.m. It was great last night and as the back on the side of the net. Live music on the Congo leading up to puck drop. 258 to go in the second. To be open and ready to serve you during your next workout. Join in the new and improved gym experience with fitness and safety top of mind. Updated cleaning and sanitation procedures will help keep you healthy and ready to keep pushing. Plus, utilize the newly renovated and remodeled equipment and exercise spaces. Reach your goals and escape your limits at Court Jester Athletic Club, a one stop fitness experience. The t-shirt toss is still here, and it's better right than ever. The, line. the next time you're Up at a right. Williamson Black Bears home game no inside Vision Veterans Memorial Arena, connects. stay in With your seat yes, after warm-up for the Peter Stone Fox t-shirt toss. Tipped then it's the, the Colonial t-shirt toss after 20 minutes. Rios t-shirt toss after two periods. Three chances to win a t-shirt every home game. Visit Stone Fox, Colonial, and Dos Rios, all within a block of the arena after every home game. Now back to more of the Excite Motorsports Intermission Show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena as we have the highlights of the first 40 minutes of play presented by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. And after a controversial goal that was called off, Nikita Ivishkin gave Binghamton a 1-0 lead. That was Merkel and Sokol. Now there's Stan Sokol on the Black Bears. Turn around! one counts and Binghamton has a one nothing lead four minutes and 35 seconds into the game. So Binghamton up one to nothing, but late in the first, Port Huron came right back. Pinching up from the left side is Zachary Fresser up and he scores. Great shot, keeping the puck inside the zone and with 123 left in the first period, the Port Huron Prowlers have tied the game at one. So tied at one after one, and we and go to the second period. And Joe Shepard with some big saves. It was Port Huron uh, getting the lead in the second. And then the Black Bears needed Shepard twice. Ivishkin, high slot. He gave the puck away to Crawford. Crawford on another rush. He's with Johnson. Crawford, shot, save, rebound. Left leg pad save, right leg pad save. I mean by Joe Shepard. And he covers on a pile of players to the right of the net. Crawford with some great chances. Joe Shepard. 2.58 to go in the second. Chance. Shepard drop save. And he hangs on with 2.55 to go in the second. Flashing that. Ball. That was a huge save because then Gino D'Angelo did this. Right below the goal line. Up the right side. No solve intercepts. Backhand connects with Jens Peterson. Peterson shot. Tipped in front. Scores! Gino D'Angelo. What a tip. Tie. Game at two. So that's where we are right now. Tie. Game at two. The highlights presented by the Binghamton Hockey Booster Club. Visit them behind section five. Behind section four, I mean. Right next to section five. It's over in that direction at the next Black Bears home game. We will take a break. And when we come back, we'll have 
A look at the out-of-town scoreboard presented by John Pollen State Farm right after this on your home for Black Bears Hockey. Fox Sports, 1430, Binghamton. Hard-hitting action of Black Bears Hockey is back Thanksgiving Eve this Wednesday against Danbury at 7 p.m. on the concourse leading up to puck drop. Hockey is back in Binghamton the night before Thanksgiving. Binghamton, Danbury, get your tickets now. When a hockey team ends up with six skaters and a goalie on the ice, it means somebody forgot to double check. And when you end up paying more for car insurance than you need to, it can also mean somebody forgot to double check. That's why State Farm will do a free discount double check by going through your policies to make sure you're getting all the discounts you deserve. Because those discounts could mean big league savings. It pays to double check. Call State Farm agent John Paulin in Johnson City today at 607-798-7191. The Homer Men and Boys Store, a family-owned business providing clothing and footwear for the entire family since 1951. Located just 40 minutes north on Route 81 in the beautiful village of Homer. The Homer Men and Boys Store carries a huge inventory of name-brand products at discounted prices like Carhartt, Red Wing, Carolina, Levi's, Columbia, North Face, Timberland, and many more. We carry all sizes from size 3 months up to 5X. We treat our customers like members of our family. If we don't have it, you don't need it. The Homer Men and Boys Store, located 40 miles north on Route 81. Take exit 12 and follow the signs to Homer or see us on the web at homermensandboys.com. New team, new website. Check out the all-new Binghamton Black Bears website, BinghamtonBlackBears.com. See all of the Black Bears' upcoming promotions, the latest news on your Black Bears. Check out up-to-the-second standings and stats and save money with special offers. You can even listen to every broadcast and see what's been happening on their social media. Be sure to follow the Black Bears on social media as well. Stay up-to-date with everything Black Bears at www.BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Now back to more of the Excite Motorsports Intermission Show on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena as we take a look at the out-of-town scoreboard presented by John Paul in State Farm. And it looks like Columbus, they have the victory in Carolina 4-2 of the Winston-Salem Fairgrounds Annex. 4-2 Columbus over Carolina. At the end of two periods in Danbury, it's the Watertown Wolves 4 and the Danbury Hat Tricks 2. Colin Chemelka, Michael Mann, Colin Chemelka again, and Jimmy Lodge, who we have yet to see with Binghamton, but a lot of familiar names there. Lane King, Brandon Day, so some big goals for Watertown. They scored 12.08 in the game and then at 12.58. And that is where they stand right now. Danbury, though, out shooting Watertown 35 to 20. They outshot them 20 to 11 in the first period of play. Over in the NHL, taking a look at games underway right now. The Penguins leading the Toronto Maple Leafs 2 to nothing. Jake Gensel with the opening goal is seventh of the season. Shots are even at 17. The Montreal Canadiens, five goals on 22 shots. They are all over the Nashville Predators, five to nothing, with 104 left to go in the second. The Calgary Flames leading three to one as they visit the New York Islanders, the Boston Bruins, and Philadelphia Flyers locking up. And it's Boston three, Philadelphia two. They get set to start the third. The Detroit Red Wings lead one to nothing in Arizona over the Coyotes. Dylan Lark in the goal, 841 into the game. St. Louis and Dallas, a no score after one. And then it is later tonight, Columbus visiting the Golden Knights. The Blackhawks and Oilers do battle, and the Capitals visit the Sharks. That is a look at the out-of-town scoreboard presented, as always, by John Paulin State Farm. Visit them online at paulininsurance.com. That'll do it for tonight's edition of the Excite Motorsports second period intermission report. Excite Motorsports, browse, ride, buy. Free next day delivery to New York NPA. Visit them online at excitemotorsports.com. 
When we come back, we'll kick off the third period of play. Tied at two. Don't go anywhere on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. Hi folks, Erwin Coe Sr. here from Big E Tire. It's our buy three, get one absolutely free sale. Oh, I know what you're saying. Wow, another tire sale. No, there's more. Listen, now when you buy three tires from Big E, you will get one tire absolutely free with free mounting, free lifetime balancing, free rotations, free 90-day road hazard warranty, free alignment check, free 30-day ride guarantee. Yeah, it's good, because the other guys charge you for everything. At Big E, everything is free. Interest-free financing for up to 12 months and the fastest air-free alignments in the Northeast. So call for details or just stop in. And thanks for the business. For cars and trucks and tractors, too. Everything's right, so right for you. Best all around are Big E Tire and Auto Center. Big E Tire. Ideal Bowling Center, located at 119 Jennings Street in Endicott, has 38 amazing lanes of bowling, large video screens, and automatic scoring. But that's not all. Ideal Bowling Center has a newly remodeled bar with six televisions, billiards, darts, and quick draw to entertain you. Don't forget about Ideal Bowling Center's snack counter for your appetite and a pro shop for all your bowling needs. Ideal Bowling Center, 119 Jennings Street in Endicott. Or call 607-748-3546. Trivium Packaging, a global leader in sustainable metal packaging with more than 60 locations worldwide, has immediate openings at its Conklin, New York facility. Trivium serves a diverse range of customers and is an essential part of the U.S. food supply chain. Trivium Packaging offers excellent compensation and benefits like these. Apply anytime at TriviumPackaging.com slash careers or scan the QR code on the screen. Trivium Packaging currently has openings for tool and die technician, mechanical technician, quality technician, and shipping and receiving technician. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Welcome back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Rob Lapolis live in Binghamton getting you set for Third period action, the Prowlers to the Black Bears to Port Huron. White jerseys, red helmet, red pants going left to right in this third period. Binghamton in the green jerseys. The black pants, black helmets, trimmed in white and black. The numbering as well. They will go from right to left. If you're looking for a night out with friends, check out our great group offers. We have tickets starting as low as $8. Black Bears have skyboxes available as well with an updated food and drink menu. Set up your group night. Call 607-722-7367 and ask for my man, Bobby. Face off at center ice. Set to go. Third period. Sherman on the draw. He's got... And he eats to his left, and we are underway. Right into the offensive zone early on in this period. And now Port Huron moving left to right. Wrist shot is deflected up and out of play. That went off the stick of MJ Merkel. We'll drop the puck in the defensive zone. Right wing circle, 18 seconds gone in this final frame. Shots are 29-25, Port Huron. From the left point, down low for Crawford. Now just outside the trapezoid, moved up out of the stick. Uh, Corey Sherman, now left wall. Ooh, nice hit by Merkel as he cuts off Crawford behind the net. Yates back for Powell. Powell offensive zone, but Jurich was just ahead of the play with 19-17 to go in the third period. Well, they dropped the puck on the far side of the ice inside the neutral zone right in front of the penalty boxes. I Michigan. Polesi, Newberg. Newberg will take the face off at the point. No solve and Becker. 19 13 to go in the third period. Face off, one back. 
And now into the offensive zone. Oh, they're shot by Halesi. Deflected up and just kind of hovered over that crossbar. 18.55 to go. Third period. Tied at two. Rob Napolis live in Binghamton. In the offensive zone, puck goes off the glass. Jumping up in the air is Newberg. Delayed offside. Halesi comes out. Newberg does the U-turn for some more four-check pressure. Offensive zone. He moved down the right wing side by Bobby Sokol. Sokol deflects the puck below the goal line. Goes onto the stick of Matt Graham. Back to Sokol. And he goes down to the top of the crease. Puck went wide. And Binghamton moving to center. Ivishkin around the defense, holds, has the puck, the lefty battles below the goal line. Ivishkin, big body behind the net, he's cut off, D'Angelo has it, up top, one timer and a save made. The shot by Nosov released quickly, Corey Simons holds on for the whistle two minutes into the third period. Join the back, the Black Bears Kids Club today for just $10. You get a Kids Club t-shirt, gifts courtesy of New York's 529 College Savings Program, Texas Roadhouse in Midway Lanes, and a free Black Bears ticket. Along with post-game skate, sign up on the concourse between sections 10 and 11. 17.43 to go, third period. Fanning on the shot was Jens Peterson. Now Gino D'Angelo, top of the right dot. Powell at center. Powell deflected by Jens Peterson as Eric Oganezov set him up. Peterson, now it's Stevens. Puck comes up to the point. Oganezov had it, lost it, now got to get back. Powell trying to speed up and offside. Tough break for Port Huron as the puck goes right off the legs of Simon Boisclair. 17 minutes and 17 seconds left to go in the third. Off the draw, pulled back to Federley, but a quick whistle on the play. He'll drop it right in front of the Black Bears bench. Jurich back to Nosov, back to Jurich, right in his skates. He goes ahead to Nosov. And Nosov fires in. Becker. Now behind the net, Yates. Gavin Yates with Johnson. Johnson goes down to the ice. Penalty coming up. Yates doesn't like it. But it'll be a tripping penalty. And Yates will head to the penalty box. And it's a Trivium packaging penalty kill. Three minutes, four seconds into the third period. Yates, two minutes for tripping. Face off in the defensive zone, right wing circle. Pulled back by Port Huron. Federley, top of the right dot. Goes to the center blue, waits. Right side, Federley. Left side, good shot block in front by Merkel. Backhanded up, it goes through everyone. Federley fakes the shot, goes to the left side. Johnson misses with the wrister. Federley winds, fakes, holds, skates to the center. Merkel in a battle in front of the net. Puck goes into the corner. Center point, Federley. Federley, Rister, save made. And then a little pile after the whistle. As there looked like to be a bit of an extra shot. Shepard didn't like it, and then he immediately decided, yeah, I'm not going to get involved with this. With 16.22 to go in the third, and a minute 27 to go in the power play for Port Huron. Shots are 31, 27. Prowlers with the. Oh, and now we're going to get a penalty. Is Powell the only one to go to the box? Well, I'm not sure what happened here. Powell is going to get the only penalty out of that. Interesting. 
So it's a minute 27 second, five on three. Trivium packaging penalty kill. Let's see if we get a replay of this. Didn't really see what Powell would have done. There was a pile on the side of the net. So Kyle Powell to the box. 27 Kyle Powell, two minutes for cross checking. Top of the penalty, 338. That is Powell, two minutes for cross checking. Time of the penalty, 338. Big moment. Shot by Johnson. Save made by Shepard. Turnaround chance. It's blocked by Merkel. Or check that by Newberg. He goes down to the ice. Becker, Newberg. And Ivishki, Newberg. Becker comes out. Chess save by Shepard. And he hangs on with 16.01 to go in the third. And a minute six left to go in the Yates penalty. Minute 39 left in the Powell penalty. Shots are 34 27. Port Huron with the advantage. It was a huge final minute and six seconds. Boy, that guy is diving all over the place, blocking shots. Off the draw, back up top to Federley. Federley, now Merkel, side of the net. It's Merkel with Nosov and Stevens. Bottom of the right wing circle, shot, sticked away by Shepard. 45 seconds to go in the five on three. And then a minute 16 in the Powell, shot off the iron. Off the iron, Stevens, and now the Black Bears trying to take the puck and Nosov will bury it all the way down. So Nosov clears the puck, that was huge. 25 to go in the five on three. Looking good so far, not trying to jinx it. Right wing side, back out, center point, bottom of the left wing, circle in the slot. Glove save by Shepard. And the puck goes out of play with 15.08 to go in the third. And 13 seconds left in the five on three penalty. Great passing by Port Huron. And a grade A chance. 13 to go. Huge face off defensive zone. The Prowlers win it. Federley, D to D to Johnson. Back in front, save made and held on to again by Shepard. Time seems to have come to a stop. And now they do media timeouts during penalties. That's something I have yet to get used to. But we'll take a break. Five minutes gone in the third period, tied at two. The power play coming to an end for Port Huron. We're back to Binghamton right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports 1430, Binghamton. New team, new great apparel. So you need to gear up this season by visiting BinghamtonBlackBears.com. BinghamtonBlackBears.com is your go-to place to get the latest and greatest Binghamton Black Bears apparel. Jerseys, hats, t-shirts, sweatshirts, polos, you name it, we have it. Send your child to school in style with tons of youth options. Or stop by the merchandise stand on the concourse at the next home game. Dress like the Black Bears and get everything you need now at BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430, Binghamton. 15 minutes to go in the third period. We're back inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Black Bears back home Wednesday night before Thanksgiving. Against Danbury, puck drops at seven. We'll have live music on the concourse, UHS soundstage, happy hour specials until puck drop. And we're gonna get some frozen turkeys as well to give away. Binghamton and Danbury coming up Wednesday night at 7. It's the night before Thanksgiving. Get your party started right here. Visit BinghamtonBlackBears.com. Three seconds to go in the five on three. Federley, penalty box, door opens. Can the Black Bears keep it going? They can't. Port Huron scores. It is a three to two lead. Power play goal for the Prowlers with 14.51 to go in the third. What a
What a fantastic penalty kill by Binghamton. Unable to hang on for its entirety. And great passing, and the Rister finally able to solve Shepard as Johnson puts it in on the man advantage. Got to stay out of the box now. Black Bears getting into a little bit of trouble. Too many men on the ice. And then back-to-back -back penalties here in the early moments of the third period. And the puck goes out of play for a whistle with 14 minutes and 40 seconds left in the third. The fans trying to get into it. Defensive zone face off inside the left wing circle. Premature. Uh, puck drop. Black Bears get it back though and Port Huron taking right back over. Shots are 38 27. The Prowlers with the advantage. And Binghamton going to try and change some momentum here in this third period. It's been all Prowlers. Ivishkin holds. And his centering feed goes off a skate and out to the neutral zone. Becker was pinching, so Newberg had to cover back. Becker at the far blue, deflected by Sam Holesi. And he seems to he get off the ice a little bit slow. And he tipped the puck in. He seems to be grimacing. Holesi does, and we'll keep an eye on that. Puck is elevated over the defense. It hits the netting. No, it doesn't. I thought that hit the netting. Johnson with a hard hit on Becker. No saw outside the trapezoid. 13.42 to go. Third period action. The Black Bears need a goal. Johnson at the blue line. Backhanded in deep by Levac. Hard forecheck as Powell dodges the impending hit. Jurich over to Nosov. Nosov connects with Yates. He'll deflect the puck in. Sherman on the forecheck. Intercepted by Jurich, though, below the goal line. He backhands. And that's picked off immediately by Austin Federley. Stepping up at the point. Powell taken back over by Yates. Up to Jurich. Tyler Jurich, nice pass. Sherman, snapshot, puck loose, top of the crease, back hit by Jurich, and it's held on to by Corey Simons with 12.47 left to go in the third. Base off in the offensive zone, right dot. A power play goal. The Prowlers have a 3-2 lead. Wrist shot is denied. A battle along the right wing wall. In below the goal line. Gino D'Angelo ahead. On side, Jens Peterson took a big hit from Henning. And now Eric Oganezov is back. And icing called with 12-11 left in the third. Sign up to receive special offers, news, and see what's coming up at Black Bears home games by joining the email club for free. Just head to BinghamtonBlackBears.com and click join the email list to sign up. Pushed ahead. Jens Peterson down to the ice. Stevens backhands up to the right point. And the shot hits on up high. Merkel with the shot. And it looks like it caught Stavros Soilis, but he seems to be okay. Crawford. Blind backhand pass, he picks it off. Now finds the backhand on the stick of Matt Graham. Graham, left wing wall. Down low for Soilis. 
And held in by Henning at the point. Kicked away by Black Bears goalie go Joe Shepard. Gino D'Angelo up the right wall. Puck took a wild bounce off the boards and now brought in on a toe drag attempt. Merkel will slap the puck up the wall. And lead play down the right side. Save made. Stevens was cutting in on the right wing circle and a good save by Corey Simons. With 11, 16 left to go in the third. Stevens just didn't have enough speed getting into the offensive zone that allowed the defenseman to catch up and cause enough problems where the save was made by Simons. Jurich down low. He'll go up the right wing wall. Sticked into the corner. Now the left side, Becker. Black Bears got to get back. Moving into the offensive zone, it's Joseph Keenan. Keenan towards the front of the net for Isaiah Crawford. Now left side. Long pass out of the reach of Zurich. 10 minutes, 50 seconds to go in the third period. 3-2 lead for Port Huron. Can the Black Bears come back and tie this game? Gino D'Angelo tied the game late in the second. And they'll need some more magic here in the third. An 8-1 win last night, now trailing 3-2, almost midway through the third. Wrist shot to flex off a stick wide of the net. Now below the goal line, Zachary Fressera. Fressera kicks the puck up, had his stick lifted, still has it inside the circle. Toe drags towards the net, kicked away. And the shot goes wide. It was kicked away by Becker. Now tipped, saved by Shepard. And Becker getting into it. And he pushes his man down to the ice over Shepard. And what do we have now? Was that Zachary Fresser? I can't see. And now some gloves just spill off. It's Becker on the ice. Now you don't want to get another penalty here. It's already going to be two and two. Becker gets up. So they continue to chat below the goal line. Not sure if there's any penalties called from this. It's five seconds to go in the third, so Fressera heads off. Becker will go as well. Those two chat between the two penalty boxes. It's two each for roughing, I assume. It is three to two Port Huron. We're live inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Hope everyone's having a great night. Rosa tuning in back in Finland. Says hockey night filled with exciting and thrilling moments again. Sending all my love to dearest Jens, number 11, Jens Peterson. It's a long ways away to be tuning in, but we appreciate it. So four minute double minors to both Becker. And Zachary Fressera. Face-off will be inside the defensive zone right wing circle. Merkel, Iveshkin, Newberg, Powell, all on. So some open ice here. You gotta have Iveshkin out there with the two less players off the ice. Oh, 
Newberg will take the draw. No, he won't. He gets uh, removed. Ivishkin will take it instead. And it's a clean win back to the point. Tipped in front of the net and taken by Powell. Referee gets in the way. And Powell's got some trouble behind the net. He finally will leave it for Merkel. Merkel's pass at center. Stick lift by Powell. Up for Williams. And now chance for Ivishkin. Tried the move. He had the game's opening goal. He thought he had scored off the glass, but ruled no goal. Scored just a moment later. Down the left wall, Nick Manzo. Manzo, pass marks, lost the puck, and it's poked away by Shepard. And then Powell plays the puck to himself off the wall. Merkel behind the net. Jay Merkel waiting. 9-10 remaining in the third period. 3:03 to go in the double liners. It's roughing two minutes run sportsman like Binghamton Black Bears penalty to number four Tyler Becker. Two minutes for roughing. Two minutes run sportsman like time of the penalties 9:55. Down the right side. It's Gavin Yates. Yates with Jurich. Jurich. Puck comes free, no solve, and it's blocked just wide. Fired up the wall by Johnson. 8.38 to go in the third period, and the Black Bears need one. Right below the goal line. Bottom of the right wing circle. And it's Soilus. Soilus weaves to his right, holds onto the puck. Good job by Nosov. And now Yates, no sob, lost it. Puck still free. Jurich takes it. And saucers to no sob. Back to Jurich. Jurich down the left side. Bottom of the left wing circle. Nice pass up for Oganezov. Oganezov looking for Jurich. Kicks the puck to him. And up to the point. No sob. No sob shot. And he elevated that just wide. I think it might have been a little bit high if it was on net. Nice pass, Yates. Quick transition. Yates cuts left. Yates shoots. Blocked in front of the net by Johnson. Great block with the skate. Now off the glass, out to center. Black Bears got to get back. It is a three on one. Scores. lead 4-2. Two totally different games. Eight goals last night against this same team for Binghamton. And surrendering a three-on-one in the third. Down by a goal. Seven seventeen to go in the third period. Save Shepard. And we'll take a break. Port Huron responding tonight. They have a 4-2 lead over Binghamton. 7-14 to go in regulation. We're back right after this on your home for Black Bears Hockey. Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. Be the first to get all the latest Binghamton Black Bears news, special exclusive offers, and stay up to date on the games by signing up to join the Binghamton Black Bears email club. Just head to BinghamtonBlackBears.com and sign up today. You'll receive team-related news delivered right to your inbox. Keep an eye out for special exclusive offers only available to email club members. It's the Binghamton Black Bears email club. Sign up and start saving money today. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430. Seven minutes, 14 seconds. Left to go in the third period. We are back inside the Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. Completely different game than last night. Yeah. 
And the Black Bears need one. Just to really get back in this game. And they'll need another to tie it. Trailing by two. However, they poured eight in last night. Stevens looking cross ice for Gino D'Angelo. D'Angelo cycles to Stevens. Stevens continues for Powell below the goal line. And Stevens covering for Powell up top. Merkel winds, fires. Ooh, that hit. That stung. As heading off the ice is Quentin Roseboom. That was a blast by Merkel. And went right off. Didn't even hear a pad. Another three on one for Port Huron. And a good diving play by Merkel. Six minutes, 13 seconds left to go in the third period. And Port Huron just all over the Black Bears right now. Up by a couple. Deflected by Stevens. And ahead. Delayed offside. Port Huron will move the puck to the neutral zone. Oh, so the delayed offside waved off. 5.46 to go, third period, 4-2 lead for Port Huron. Back at it Wednesday. Soilus, left side, right side, right leg pad saved by Shepard. Puck goes into the corner. Now Ivichkin, Ivichkin, Halesi, Halesi, low wrister, just missed. That would have been big. 5.25 to go. Heads up, Ivichkin. Toe drag, backhand by Newberg. Goes off a of skate, he tried centering again. This time Alex Johnson goes ahead and offside. Johnson, little move at the blue line. And that draws the offside with 5.11 left to go in the third period. Saturdays are for the families, and that means every Saturday is the Little Venice Family Four Pack Night. Get four tickets and a $25 Little Venice gift card for just $44. That's every Saturday home game. Stop by the Black Bears office on the third floor of the arena. 5.07 to go in the third. Black Bears down 4 2, being outshot 47 to 31. Yates down low. Sherman. Sherman twisted down to the ice. Gets the puck up for Nosov. Wide of the net. And Jurich into the corner. Battle for the puck. Nosov. Yates had it go right under his stick. And Jurich will come to the bench for a line change. Four and a half to go in the third. Black Bears needing two. One on one, tipped up. Oh, that goes onto the concourse in the corner. Hope everyone uh, scatters. We'll step aside. Four minutes, 19 seconds left to go in the third period. And the Black Bears need two. We'll take a break. Back with more right after this on your home for Black Bears hockey. Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Since 1939, Inwell Rug has been family owned and operated with one goal in mind, complete customer satisfaction. Inwell Rug offers a full spectrum of the finest quality floor covering products, and they are the premier installer at Binghamton University. Inwell Rug was voted the Reader's Choice Award winner for best flooring store in 2019 and in 2020. With two locations in Inwell and O'Neillot, the they're the best floor center. show in town. Black Inwell Rug at back. 607 7366 Score. Now back to more Black Bears hockey on Fox Sports 1430 Binghamton. Back inside Visions Veterans Memorial Arena. From the Polis, Black Bears need two. With four minutes and 19 seconds left to go in regulation. Shot and held on to by Joe Shepard with 4.13 remaining.
collision. Puck to center. Newberg. Newberg wiped out. Snapshot by Ivestin. And a blocker pad save me. Merkle to center. Ahead uh, for Holesi. Holesi went down to the ice, took his man with him. Wraparound chance. And the puck comes out to center ice. 337 left to go in the third period. Alessi on the four check. Black Bears changing. D'Angelo, no saw. Yellow knee come on. Along with Mikel Shalafu. Larry Yellow knee below the goal line. Long pass for Becker. Cross ice, no soft, has ice. 3.07 to go, third period. He'll keep an eye on the net down to our right. No soft, centers, shot. Ball and that goes off of Shingar just wide of the net. Off the glass. Glove down by Becker. He goes back to get it. And Becker now to center. Fired right back in. No soft picks it up. Plenty of time remaining. 2.44 to go in the third period. The battle for the puck. And Levac goes back. Little give and go. And Levac down the right boards. Yellow knee pokes the puck away. Becker gets to it. And Becker sends the puck up the wall. No one there. Williams. 2.20 to go in the third. Shot on net. Save made. And that's held on to. Whistle. Will there be a timeout used? Merkel, Powell, come on. And there's six skaters on for Binghamton. Someone's got to exit. And Becker will come off. So two minutes, 17 seconds. Left to go in the third period. Played by Merkel up the wall. Federley pinches, shot, save. Puck still free, and they finally blow it dead. And Shepard not happy. Some extra digging. Everyone seems to be all right. Cooler heads prevail this time with two minutes and eight seconds to go in the third. Stay with us for the La Quinta in and Suites post game show. Well, just a tale of two nights. Two different teams showed up at two different nights. Binghamton eight goals last night. Maybe they ran out of goals on the weekend. Sherman back for Jurich ahead for Yates. 150 to go. Here comes Shepard to the net. From the net to the bench. Extra attacker is on. That's Newberg. And Powell's got to get back. And a big hit as Powell awkwardly into the boards. And that is it. And the empty netter. It's 5-2, Port Huron. Oh, a tough one for Binghamton as the fans file out. They go from scoring eight goals the night before, same lineups basically on both sides. To then down 5-2 the following night, giving up 52 shots. And really everything that coach talked about pre-game, almost the opposite is
Face off in the neutral zone, 117 to go in the third period. Off the face off, right in front. Glass, two on one. Center, scores. With 55 seconds to go, and Port Huron gonna pour it on like the Black Bears did last night. So face off, upcoming. Chipped in down low. Now Becker, on the breakout, weaves through center. Becker with a shot, 40 seconds left. Williams, Merkel throws him down. Shot glove by Shepard, he'll hang on. 22.7 left to go. Face off in the defensive zone, left wing circle. Glass out to center ice. 17 seconds left to go in the third period. And this game just prolonged even longer with these quick whistles. 13 seconds to go in the third. The face off in the offensive zone. Pulled all the way back down the ice. Nine seconds left. And no saw paints onto it. Four seconds to go, and that'll do it. And he's thrown down to the ice. That shot came after the final horn. And Nosov gets up. They're continuing to try and go after him. Boy, who is that? Now, a couple of guys go down being hustled off the ice is Stavros Soilis. And both teams win. Another shot uh, to Yellow Knee inside the circle as the linesmen try to break it up. Players still milling around. No solve, let the shot go after the horn. About a second after. And now, Ogadezov on the side of the net. They push the net off the pegs. And then Ogden Azov ends up on top. Ooh. And he continues to punch. As they are down, they're still wrestling on the ice as Ogden Azov drops the gloves. And the crowd will cheer. That seems to be it. After this one, everyone just chatting. Federley and Peterson talking. And 
side, it looks like. Both sides will head to the locker room. So, that'll do it. We'll take a break. When we come back, Lakita in and Swede's post-game show right after this on your home for Black Bears Hockey, Fox Sports, 1430 Binghamton. The Ross Park Zoo sits tucked into the northern face of Binghamton, South Mountain. The zoo officially opened in 1875 and is the fifth oldest zoo in the country. Come view over 100 different species. Are you planning your next event? Train rides, the children's zoo, Ross Park Carousel, Snack Shack, gift shop, and special education stations are just some of the reasons why Ross Park Zoo should be your next event. You can even set up wild encounters. Give Ross Park Zoo a call at 607-724-5461 or online at rossparkzoo.com. For the ones who get going.